The story begins in China, the country that gave the world martial arts, everyone who wants to master them comes here. The events take place in one of the schools in the city of Suzhou called Xiyi. There, at one of the martial arts practice lessons, many students gathered, they were practically no different from each other, only one guy stood out who was sitting alone. His name was Ling Xiao, his face was sad, but at one moment his behavior changed greatly, there was a feeling that he had been replaced but by a completely different person. He himself thought that he had fallen into some kind of illusion, the guy did not understand why he was here now, but the place itself turned out to be very familiar to him. It was the most ordinary martial arts lesson, everyone, as usual, looked at their teacher and admired his talent. Suddenly the hero realizes that he has already seen this place before, this was the school where he studied and took exams when he was 17 years old. The student looked at himself in the mirror and realized that it was really him, as he was when he was 17 years old, it was incredible, but it looked like the guy had returned to the past. This man was not just some schoolboy, in his real life he was the strongest among the immortals and even became the greatest hero in the history of the celestial world. Even three alliances and five emperors could not resist him, no one could even think that he was destined to die at the hands of a villain, and also to lose his beloved woman. But after death, he did not go to heaven or hell, but to the very beginning, apparently fate gave Ling Xiao a unique opportunity. Heaven gave him a chance to live his life again, so that the nine gods, the emperor, and even that scoundrel will get what they deserve. After this, something strange happens to his body, starting from his legs, his whole body is enveloped by a magical power that looks like a blue flame. This was Shen Zhu's constitution, the guy is surprised to realize that he has reached the stage of development and activates the flow of energy. Meanwhile, the exam continued, the in charge once again said the name of the student who was supposed to be leaving next, this time it was Xiu Qing. She was a beautiful young girl with heavenly blue eyes and long black hair. Ling Xiao couldn't believe his eyes, it was really his beloved, the same as then, Many years ago, the picture of her death again appeared before his eyes. The student approached a special tool and hit the right place with all her strength, the force of her blow was 166 kilograms, it was an excellent result and she received a high score. The two guys who stood nearby were happy for her, as expected, she did an excellent job and proved that she was good not only for her appearance. The hero, who had not yet fully recovered from the shock, rushed towards her, pushing away all the students near him, but his hand accidentally ended up on the chest of one of the girls. Her name was Xiu Qian, the situation turned out to be very awkward, it was clear from the girl's face that she was beside herself with rage. The guy became embarrassed and quickly removed his hand, he immediately began to make excuses and said that he didn't want this at all. But the student no longer listened to him, but immediately grabbed her favorite weapon, it was a special, very long whip. Shouting that Ling Xiao was a pervert, she rushed to the attack and shouted that they would kill him now, the hero barely had time to jump away and ask to disperse peacefully. The student was still beside herself with rage, he would never have gotten away with a simple apology, the situation could only be corrected by the broken neck of this pervert. Only Xiu Qing was able to calm her down, she stood up for the student and asked her friend to cool down a little, because the guy came here just to take a physical exam. The hero was very lucky that this happened, because it was his turn to approach the power meter. But before that, Xiu Qing asked him if he was the one everyone was talking about. The guy didn't immediately understand the question, he completely forgot that at that time she didn't know him at all, and Xiu Qian was still angry with him. Although they had already been waiting for him for several minutes near the simulator, Ling Xiao did not miss the opportunity to show off and said that yes, it was really him. The person in charge of the exam was already starting to get very angry, the hero had to hurry and he was walking. Approaching the tool, the guy was thinking about how much force he should use, because if he uses too much, it will cause unnecessary problems. Xiu Qian, still offended by him, said that with such a weak body he could at least knock out 80 kilograms, but he could only dream of a good result. Ling Xiao decides that 500 kilograms will be enough. He delayed everyone a lot with his thoughts, everyone around asked him to speed up and not be so timid. When the guy made a blow, he almost broke the meter, it seemed that some kind of unusual energy was emanating from him which could even be seen. Everyone present was shocked, the guy's result was 700 kilograms, it looks like he overdid it a little. Soon the exam was completed and the guy picked up his phone, 
he needed to know something very important. He wrote to his older brother and asked where he was, fortunately his relative was now at home, the hero was happy because on the day of his exam something terrible happened to him. In a past life, when the guy returned from his test, it turned out that his older brother committed suicide. Ling Xiao decides that he will never let this happen again, he is not going to lose his brother again. The hero was about to leave, but it seemed that someone else had business with him, Xiao Qian shouted at him to stop. Apparently they didn't hear her, the guy left and the girl got even more angry because of this, she'll catch him yet. Xiao Qing went up to the meter, as it turned out, the blow still destroyed it, it turned into a pile of iron. She took one of the parts and looked at it, there was an imprint of this monster's fist on it, when did a person of such power appear in their academy? The guy changed into a formal suit and ran home with all his might, he couldn't wait to see his brother whom he hadn't seen for a bunch of years. Ling Xiao opened the front door with a bang and shouted his name, more than anything in the world right now he wanted to talk to his relative. His name was Ling Xian, he was still alive and well, although he was sitting in a wheelchair, surprised at how quickly his brother returned, he told him to quickly wash his hands and sit down at the table. The hero immediately threw his arms at his older brother and said that he missed him incredibly much. It was clear from his face that he was very excited, Ling Xiao asked if everything was okay with Ling Xian, who, of course, was very surprised in response. The older brother had the thought that the hero had once again failed his exam. The reason was completely different, they both decided to forget about this strange situation and rather hurried to the table. Ling Xian decides that this is their fate, as it turned out, he did not have any special powers, and besides, he was often sick from early childhood. In fact, Ling Xiao came so quickly not because he failed the exam, he passed it so well that he will soon begin to receive letters from the best universities in the country. At first the elder brother did not quite believe what he heard, his face showed great surprise and joy for his brother. At the table, where there was a lot of delicious food, the brothers talked about how good it was that the guy passed the exam, now the future of the family depended on him. Ling Xian recalls with regret that he was unable to protect the martial arts school at one time, this was just after their father left. He believes that a loser like him cannot drag his younger one down, it will be better if no one knows that they are family. Ling Xian immediately had memories of that day and the day when they had to save their lives. Ling Xiao tells the elder not to say such things, soon they will definitely return everything that rightfully belongs to them. He asks to believe that in six months he will be able to find a way to restore the health of his relative, so that his brother should not lose faith in himself. Ling Xian understood perfectly well that the younger one really wanted to help him, but unfortunately it was not as easy as it could have been. Their conversation was suddenly interrupted by a female voice, the girl was telling her older brother to quickly get out of this house and calling him trash. In fact, there were two uninvited guests, it was a tall blonde woman, and with her a short middle-aged man, the first thing that caught your eye was his bald head, his name was Yu De Chang. It was the girl Ling Xian, as it turned out, she found her true love, she now does not want to date a disabled person. The hero immediately had the idea that it was this event that pushed his brother to commit suicide that time. The abandoned guy was in shock, he couldn't believe how his love could do this to him, they spent many years together. This was indeed the case, the blonde said that, unlike him, her new man was rich, and besides, he could walk. After this, her new boyfriend gets into the conversation, he says that the girl is very good-natured towards the disabled person, she even said to give him some money. It seemed to them that the guy in the wheelchair should be grateful, because no one needed him anyway, but they at least gave him money. The girl said that she was not satisfied with their relationship, because for so many years while they were dating, he never took her to a restaurant, and her new man gave her a bag for $4,000 on the very first day. A balding man approached the guy and said that he was worthless because he couldn't say a word in such a situation. Ling Xiao stood on the side all this time and could barely contain his emotions, he wanted to put these two scum in their place right now. At one point, Ling Xian breaks down and says that he is breaking up with his girlfriend and does not want her to ever come into his sight. After these words, Yu De Chang kicks his older brother because he dared to insult his dear Li Jiao. Because of this, Ling Xian fell from his chair, and the man continued to kick him, in his opinion, he forgot his place and needed to be taught a lesson. The younger brother couldn't just watch it, he hits the bastard's leg, 
causing him to fall to the floor with a loud sound. Immediately after this, Ling Xiao explains with a strong kick that no one has the right to behave like this towards his family. Yu De Chang began to bleed, and he swore heavily at the guy and said that most likely his leg was broken. Immediately after this came another blow, this time it hit him even harder, the man should have kept his mouth shut. At this moment, Li Jiao can't stand it and rushes at the guy, she orders him to move away from him and asks who the student thinks he is. But Ling Xiao was so angry at that moment that he was ready to teach her a lesson, the girl thought that he would not dare to hit her. As it turned out, she was wrong, the guy didn't care about gender when the closest person he knew was harmed. The blonde says that her boyfriend's younger brother is not a man, he's not even a person, but just a shameless fool who doesn't mind hitting a woman. In response to this, the guy says that he would never hit a woman, but she is just a creature who betrayed his older brother. He once again decides to show who is boss in the house and steps on the head of the new guy Li Jiao, from which he asks to let him go. Ling Xiao wondered where all the pompousness with which this idiot beat his older brother went. The man asks for forgiveness and says that this will not happen again, the hero warns him that next time he will not be so kind. At the end, he hits Yu De Chang with all his might in the stomach and orders her to get out of this house as quickly as possible. When the couple was already leaving, the guy thought that now his strength was not enough, if now he took their lives, then later he would be in big trouble. When it was all over, the younger one told the older one that he probably wanted to stop him, but Ling Xian simply thanked him for his help and protection. He knew that his girlfriend was only interested in money, after one incident, she never communicated with him. The guy even sold his favorite things to buy her a gift, but in the end she just left him for some bald guy. The hero decided to change the topic and said that he had medicine for his relative, he just needed to wait a little. Ling Xian was overjoyed by these words, or at least pretended to, he said that he would look forward to the day when they could travel together. The guy was also happy, it seemed to him that all the pain that had been accumulating in his brother's heart for so many years had finally evaporated. At this time, Yu De Chang, call yourself a big daddy, speaks on the phone that he was beaten by a schoolboy and now he needs to gather people. Today he wanted them to kill two brothers, this bald man was really very rich, because killing a person is not a cheap pleasure. At the other end of the phone they announced a price, taking one person's life cost one million. Li Jiao asked her new boyfriend with a worried face if he was really going to kill them, because if this happened, they would become the first suspects. Yu De Chang was furious at these questions, he told the girl to think less with her head, because smart people had already decided everything for her. The man spent a whole two million for a reason, they just had to wait and enjoy, tomorrow there will be a headline in all the newspapers about the tragic death of the Lin brothers. At this time, at home, Ling Xiao was calmly washing the dishes after dinner, when suddenly someone knocked on his door. The brother said that he would open it, at that time they were not expecting guests, so the situation was a little strange. Yu De Chang had a dark past and was a terrible person, the guy just beat him up, this man is definitely not the type to give up easily, most likely he will take revenge. With such thoughts, the hero opened the front door, he was already ready for a fight with several opponents at once, determination was visible on his face. But, as it turned out, these were not villains, in fact, these were two girls whom he saw at the exam this morning, Xiao Qing was slightly frightened by such a reaction. The girl asked why he was so angry, the hero, with an embarrassed look, asked them why they came here. Xiao Qing said that she brought her sister to apologize, because she should not have disturbed him during the exam. After that, she asked Xiao Qian to do the same, but she does not think that she is to blame for anything, because he started first. At this moment, memories came flooding back to Ling Xiao, in his previous life, due to the death of his brother, he fell into a very deep depression and became very distant from people. His lover sacrificed her life for him, she was one of those to whom he really wanted to apologize. Due to an overabundance of feelings, the guy forgot a little what universe he was in and told Xiao Qing that he would not allow her to suffer in this life. Her sister immediately reacted to this, she again took out her whip and hurried to save the girl from this pervert. After all, her sister, out of the kindness of her heart, apologized for something she didn't even do, and he started groping her. The guy again asked for forgiveness for his behavior and said that she just reminded him of an old friend and asked him not to take it to heart. 
The friend immediately began to make excuses, she said that there was nothing wrong with it, but now they needed to go home. After that, she turned towards her sister, and with a face full of anger, persistently asked her to hide this thing. After that, Xiao Qin grabbed Xiao Qian's hand and said that her rude behavior always brought them nothing but problems. It was clear from her face that she was very shy, and her cheeks were bright red. Ling Xiao ran up to them and said that it was late and it would be better if he took them home, apparently he was afraid that they might get hurt because of Yu De Chang. Before leaving, the younger warned his brother that he was leaving, but would return in a few minutes. Xiao Qian doesn't want the guy to follow them, what if he pesters them somewhere in a narrow alley, her sister asks her not to say such things. Apparently she was not at all against the hero seeing them off, and her sister was shocked that the girl was not on her side. In the end, Ling Xiao still went with them, their home was relatively close and it shouldn't take much time. It was clear from the face of his lover that she was glad that the guy joined them, apparently she already had feelings for him then. Ling Xiao also looked quite happy, he thanked fate for another chance, he would do everything possible to prevent her death this time. Xiao Qian saw the guy's satisfied face and became furious again, she still thought that he had some obscene intentions. A few minutes later they said goodbye, the girl with white hair said that she hoped to never see the hero again. As soon as they separated, Ling Xiao heard some noise growing in the bushes nearby, he immediately realized what was happening. The guy turned to the rats who were hiding nearby and advised them to quickly get out. Realizing that there is no point in hiding further, the killers hired by the villain reveal themselves, there were several attackers. The main one among them was most likely a guy with pink hair and a scar all over his face, he told the hero that they paid a million for his head. In response, Ling Xiao smiled and said that these guys are very stupid, because they risked their lives for just a couple of millions. The villain was amused by the guy's reaction, he didn't dare talk to him like that and decided that he needed to teach this brat a good lesson. This was the leader of a gang that was considered the second most powerful in the entire city, the man took out a knife and with a sharp movement rushed at the guy. Ling Xiao easily dodged the attack, but as it turned out, the knife was not simple, it was one of the qi weapons, that is, filled with magic. The killer replied that everything was exactly like that, this was another reason to take the life of this schoolboy, he should not know about this thing. The next moment the hero decides that now is the best moment to carry out a counterattack, he suddenly rushes at the enemy. His fist was filled with energy, because of this he was able to withstand bladed weapons with his bare hands. In addition, the guy's strength turned out to be much stronger than this magical knife, as a result of this attack, the bandit misses the blow and can barely stand on his feet. After that, all the attackers were very scared, each of them realized that Ling Xiao was at a completely different level of strength, now they could not compete with him. The hero ordered them to kneel, and then maybe he would allow them to leave here alive, but they still wanted to kill his brother, so they should be punished. Only after knowing the eight body qi elements can one enter the normal qi body stage, but how could such a brat achieve such a level of strength? Ling Xiao turned to the villains and asked why they stood rooted to the spot and did not move, because he himself could calmly approach them. One of the mercenaries asks the leader what they should do, if they continue to fight they will die anyway. Fighting him even for that kind of money is like going with a kitchen knife against an atomic bomb, they need to run away now, it wasn't worth it. Damn Yu De Chang dared to force them to fight against such a strong person, they should have found this idiot and beaten him properly. The guy heard their conversation and ordered them to stand still, he would not let them run away from him so easily. The hero was not going to just let them go, he wanted to make an example out of them, so that next time any mercenary would think three times before taking an order on his head. The bandits, with a frightened look, asked what he wanted from them, the main one among them said that it was he who attacked him and asked not to touch his brothers. In Ling Zhao's eyes, their lives were equally insignificant, but this dagger, which was imbued with special magic, interested him. The mercenary spent a lot of money on him on the black market, but decides that saving his life is much more important. He kindly handed the knife into the hands of the hero and asked for forgiveness, the bandit begs to be released and not to take their insignificant lives. The guy happily takes this weapon from the hands of the villain, at that moment he was completely in control of the situation and could do whatever he wanted. Having received what he wanted, Ling Xiao tells the gang to get lost, but if he sees them even a kilometer from his home, they won't get off so easily. 
The attackers probably didn't even hear his last word, they immediately ran away from there with all their might. At that moment, the hero breathed out a sigh of relief, although he pretended that the situation was completely under his control, but in fact it was not entirely true. As it turned out, he almost died, because this weapon was covered with two layers of sea and, but it almost broke his protective barrier. It was only thanks to Shenju's strength that he was able to carry out a successful attack, if not for that, he would have gotten into big trouble. Now the guy was only at the first stage, which allowed him to use Gan Chi, it was called the body of normal Chi. But the power of the God Sutra was not like all the others, it was an absolutely unique technique, it was what allowed Ling Xiao to become an emperor in his previous life. What about this knife, it is an ordinary weapon of the second stage, there were 10 stages in total, the legendary weapon is at stages 8 to 10. Of course, it would be nice for an ordinary person to have a first stage weapon, and this could cause a lot of damage, but only if your opponent was not a grand master. But at the same time, any chi weapon can be improved, a cultivator at a high level can create the strongest weapon. It's a pity that masters above the 8th stage don't do this, because they are strong enough to fight with their bare hands. As soon as the guy returned home, his older brother with a frightened face asked where he had been all this time. The younger one told him that he just walked the girls home and chatted with them a little on the way, everything was fine with him. Ling Xian was very happy about this, he praised his brother for developing in several directions at once and recommended not to miss a girl like Xiao Qing. Ling Xiao agrees and says that she is indeed very graceful, today he was going to go to bed early and recommends his brother to do the same. Lying on the bed, the guy thought that it would be nice to improve his today's trophy, this needs to be done before the exam results are announced. A second rank weapon is an ideal sample for experimentation, he decides not to wait for another opportunity and try it right now. The unique power that Ling Xiao possessed in his previous life also allowed him to cultivate weapons of any rank. But now he did not possess such power, he needed to improve the blade before sunrise tomorrow morning. Suddenly, at some point, the weapon falls from the hero's hands, it was hard to believe, but it seems he failed in this task. The guy would never have thought that he, as a god emperor, would fail when improving weapons of the second stage, if the celestials knew about this, they would probably burst into laughter. But it didn't really matter, he could deal with Li Jiao and Yu De Chang without using this knife. These bastards who drove his brother to suicide and mocked him in front of everyone will now pay for their actions. The hero recalled the day of his elder brother's funeral, then Li Jiao blamed him for his death, because he failed the exams and became a disgrace to the family. Yu De Chang was also there and tried to calm the woman down, saying that this student was just a loser and shouldn't be so nervous about him. These rumors quickly spread, and soon everyone around believed this lie and began to blame the younger brother for the fact that his relative was dead. It was because of Li Jiao that all the blame fell on the boy's shoulders, but thanks to this, he became obsessed with training and in the end it all paid off. In this life, he will make this woman pay for all the pain that she managed to bring to his family. Events are transferred to Yu De Chang's villa, it was a huge mansion, it was deep night outside. At that time, the couple was having fun in the bathroom, not a drop of regret was visible on their faces, but in their opinion both brothers were now dead. But their fun was interrupted by one of the bodyguards, he turned to the owner of the house and said that they had found the one they had been looking for for so long. Yu De Chang was furious at this, he really didn't like it when someone interrupted his rest, he ordered many times that no one should disturb him. The guy only had to say that this man was now in the living room, and if they didn't approach him in five minutes, he would leave. It was Xie Jin, he was a good fighter and had a stage 3 body, and he really didn't like being forced to wait. The man said that he was ready to pay as much as he wanted, the strength of this man was worth every penny, he only needed to deal with one schoolboy. But the guy with the scar warns that this is no ordinary schoolboy, because he can use Gan Chi and even his knife could not penetrate his armor. Xie Jin doesn't believe his words and says that if he doesn't understand anything, then it's better to remain silent, in order to use Gan Chi you need to be at least at the 8th level of Qi, a schoolboy cannot have such power. But the mercenary asks him to believe, he saw everything with his own eyes and claims that this monster easily took his weapon. But the people sitting at the table thought that he had simply gone crazy, his words were really difficult to believe. The bandit continued to convince them, because even weapons are useless against him, 
which means that it doesn't matter which enemy tries to kill him. Xia Jin is tired of this chatter and he solves this issue with his usual method, the pink-haired one flies off several meters from the blow. The master of arts managed to carry out another attack before the unfortunate fell to the ground, Xia Jin's ability to fight was truly amazing. After that, he announces his price, he asked for two million for the murder of one person, the owner of the house will gladly agree, he is ready to pay for both brothers. The deal was concluded, the mercenary immediately went on a mission, it was not in his spirit to postpone everything until later. Yu De Chong points out that it is very convenient to have a lot of money, because then you don't have to get your hands dirty with blood. Li Jiao agrees and says that her boyfriend's hands should not touch something terrible, now she deserves a reward. But she didn't need anything, she just wanted the brothers to die a terrible death, at that moment the couple heard cries for help from another room. As it turned out, it was Ling Xiao, he stood on the second floor and said that the two of them were truly terrible people and it would be better for them to go to hell. If Yu De Chang wants to kill him, he can do it right now, if of course he has enough strength to do so. The man shouted to his guards to quickly cover him, he could not understand how this brat managed to get into his house. The hero recommends that he not think about how he got here, because his guards are very nasty, now he better worry about his life. After that, he throws his special nuts at the guards, they were very deadly despite their appearance, all the guards were eliminated. Ling Xiao wanted to pierce the head of the owner of the house, but his guards sacrificed their lives to save Yu De Chang, but he could not escape justice. The guy climbed onto the balcony railing and pulled out his weapon, right now he was going to make these two answer for their crimes. After mocking his brother, they also hired killers to get rid of them, now it's time for payback and everything will change soon. The man immediately covered himself with the girl and said that it was all her fault, because she was the one who came up with this whole plan with the killers. Li Jiao doesn't understand what kind of nonsense this idiot is talking now, because this whole plan was his initiative from start to finish. The hero did not care at all who was the first to plan to kill his family, both of them could not escape from retribution. But at one moment his weapon collided with the fist of a person unknown to him, Ling Xiao did not expect that there was someone else in the house. As it turned out, it was Xia Jin, his block broke the stick, and he realized that this was the guy he was assigned to kill. Scared to death, Yu De Chang asks to kill the hero at all costs, and then he will pay the killer as much as he wants. Ling Xiao at that moment used a force equal to 900 kilograms, but this guy blocked the blow without any effort, he was at least at the third stage of qi. Xie Jin assessed the guy's strength and said that he wanted 11 million for his head, and for less he was not ready to risk his life. Even the rich man turned pale at such a sum, apparently his fortune was not unlimited, he asks for some kind of discount. Li Jiao doesn't understand if Yu De Chang is really going to pay a fortune to this guy, because they aren't even sure if he can defeat the schoolboy. These words made Xie Jin irritated, these idiots are underestimating him, so he raises the price to 12 million. The man will agree, at that moment he had no other choice, he only asks the mercenary to quickly do his job. At this moment, the hero decides to take advantage of the moment and attacks when the enemy has taken his eyes off him, he could decide the outcome of the fight with one attack. But the fighter with the headband effortlessly grabs the guy's fist and says that his cheap attacks will never work on him. Now the games are over and everything is serious, the world of martial arts was much tougher than it might seem at first glance. But the hero parries the opponent's blow with the same ease, and as a result, they found themselves in a situation where it was difficult to determine who had the advantage. Xie Jin did not believe what happened, he tried to understand what kind of martial arts Ling Xiao possessed and how he managed to stop the attack in which he invested 700 kilograms. The guy jumped back, he reasoned that a person who is at the third level of qi cannot have a blow weighing 700 kilograms. He felt that his enemy was at least level 5, meaning he was halfway to achieving a normal qi body. Xie Jin decided not to hesitate and immediately launched a second attack, the fight promised to be very difficult, so not a second could be missed. The hero was moving in the right direction, because his opponent was losing his composure every second, with his current strength he needed to end the fight as quickly as possible. The guy found himself in the most difficult situation in a battle between high-level cultivators, the stronger fighter could defeat the weaker one with sheer strength. 
The mercenary asked him if this is all he is capable of, because a couple of minutes ago the hero behaved so arrogantly, and now he looks like a cowardly mouse. After this, the fight continued, the opponents exchanged blows, their attacks were incredibly fast, it was impossible to follow these movements. Xie Jin thought that he was superior to Ling Xiao in strength, but his movements were full of flaws, at one moment the bandit opened up, this was the guy's chance to strike. He concentrated all the strength he had into one point, and his fist was filled with incredible power. A moment later, he made a sharp lunge forward, the blow was incredibly strong and pushed his opponent several meters back. At first, it seemed to the mercenary that the blow did not cause him any harm, but after a second he felt a sharp pain in his body. When cultivators fight against each other, the only way for a level fighter to defeat is to use Jian Duan. The guy gathered all the strength in his fist, but after this movement, his hand would be numb for half an hour, this body was too weak, he needed to increase his strength as soon as possible. The couple stood behind and shook with fear, they saw that their fighter was losing, and if he lost, they would not live. Xie Jin's mouth began to bleed, the blow he missed was indeed very strong, his injury was very serious. But he was not going to give up, wiping the blood from his chin, the guy praises his opponent, he did not expect that the schoolboy could master such a technique. Now the hero had one arm paralyzed, but his enemy's strength had dropped by 300 kilograms, with such strength he could not kill Ling Xiao. Suddenly, the mercenary takes out some kind of yellow capsule from a secret pocket, according to him, the school in which he learned to fight was unusual. There he was taught that strength can be obtained not only by practicing martial arts, he swallowed the capsule and increased his strength, it was a brilliant invention of mankind. In addition, he put on combat gloves, as soon as the hero saw them, he immediately remembered that he had already seen this before. These were his brother's gloves, which he sold to buy a necklace for that vile Li Jiao, and they were the weapons of the Ling family. Xie Jin wanted to make Ling Xiao feel the difference between a high school student and a real martial artist. From the powerful blow, the guy flew several meters away and flew into a wall. The attack was so powerful that the barrier crumbled into small pieces. The two bastards were still standing nearby and assenting, with all their hearts they wanted their younger brother to die here today. But instead of being damaged, Ling Xiao seemed to only become stronger from this powerful attack. Xie Jin understood that something was wrong here, his punch together with the strength of his gloves was 1000 kilograms, so why is this guy still alive? Spitting blood, the hero thought that the blow of these gloves was still the same, only the force was a little different, the attack was really not bad. About his life after the death of his brother, he could not find anything related to him or anyone from his family. All that Ling Xiao could remember was the pain that the guy received from his brother during their joint training, he could not forget that pain, it really was her. The hero makes a promise to himself that in this life he will never lose something valuable to him again. Yu De Chang stood behind and hurried Xie Jin, the schoolboy was still dead, he urgently needed to be finished off. But the mercenary stood motionless in place, it was clear from his face that he was in shock, he realized that the guy with the scar on his face was telling him the truth. His opponent really knew how to use Kong Chi, well, as a schoolboy, he managed to collect eight elements. Ling Xiao rushed to attack, he was going to end this duel with one powerful blow. But Xie Jin thought that his opponent was simply trying to deceive him, because it was simply impossible to achieve such a level of strength at such a young age. In the middle of the attack, the guy took out a pre-prepared weapon from the sleeve of his jacket, although he was unable to increase the level of the blade, he could still help him. At that moment, it didn't matter what the guy with the headband thought, because he lost this fight anyway. With one precise blow, the guy cut the enemy's carotid artery, gushing from his throat, he should have just lay there, he killed a lot of people, and now death has come to him too. After this, it was the turn of Yu De Chang and Li Jiao, at first Ling Xiao planned to kill them in any case, but later decided that there was an option in which they remained alive. If a man gives him the records of all his clothes, he will pardon them, this man has had a lot of blood. Yu De Chang looked like a landlord, but in fact he is a big drug dealer, the hero investigated this case in a past life and knew who he really was. The man tried to lie about how he didn't do anything wrong, but according to him, Li Jiao was to blame for everything, he himself knows nothing. The girl was enraged by his words, at that moment she realized that she had made a very mistake in choosing a man. 
In fact, Li Jiao was only asking her new boyfriend to help her break up with Xiu Qian, and not kill him. As a result, Yu De Chang hits the girl in the face and tells her to shut up, otherwise today he will kill her with his own hands. These two were like a cat and a dog, the guy couldn't stand their faces anymore, it would all be over quickly. After she is hit, the woman says that this man is not the love of her life, but just a fat pig. She knew where the bandit hid all his notes and promised to bring them right away, Yu De Chang tried his best to stop her. But Ling Xiao told him that if the man moved even an inch, he would suffer the same fate as the fighter he hired. Li Jiao quickly ran to the second floor, her new boyfriend was really a drug dealer and she knew it very well. After that, the sounds of sirens were heard outside the window, they arrived just in time. As it turned out, the hero called the police in advance, Yu De Chang at that moment realized that his happy days would end today. The guy was an honest citizen and did not want to just let such a dangerous criminal go. The man committed enough crimes to be killed, but why did he need to get his hands dirty, the police will do a great job of that. Just at this time, Li Jiao arrived, she brought a stack of books, they contained records of all the crimes. Imagine her surprise when she saw a crowd of police officers in the living room, the girl also would not be able to avoid the well-deserved punishment. Events are transferred to the police station, this is where the two criminals were moved, Ling Xiao was also here, right now the policeman was thanking him. It was police captain Hua Yen, according to him, if not for the hero, they would hardly have been able to catch them, the fact was that the villains committed crimes under false names. As it turns out, the police have been trying to catch the drug dealer for the last six months, and finally they succeeded thanks to this young man. Ling Xiao pretended that he was just lucky and the police just got there on time, the guy pretended that if it weren't for them, he would have had big problems. Xie Jin survived that attack, so the police caught him in the act, where he killed many people, his life was over. The hero asked the captain how they were going to punish the drug dealer, it was important for the guy to know this information. Since Yu De Chang had committed many crimes, the death penalty was the only thing he could count on. Putting this man in jail would be too generous, now Ling Xiao could breathe a sigh of relief and go home peacefully. Fortunately, the hero managed to hide his brother's gloves in time, if the police had noticed them, they would definitely have confiscated them, it was a very important thing. These gloves belonged to their family for many years, the elder brother will be very happy when he sees them, they are like family to him. Meanwhile, the customer and the contractor were sitting in a prison cell, the man understood that this was all over, he accepted his fate. But the guy still couldn't believe that an ordinary high school student managed to defeat him, he still didn't give up and wanted to take revenge on him. Suddenly, he grabbed Yu De Chang's throat with his hand, he wanted to find out everything this fool could know about who defeated him today. Xie Jin wanted to find out any information, address, school, all information was worth its weight in gold to him, the man told everything he knew. The guy had enough of this, apparently a plan had already matured in his head that would help him take revenge. After that, he took out a small phone from his secret pocket, with the help of which he can easily contact his people. The next morning, the two brothers were talking at home, the elder asked where the younger managed to find his gloves, Ling Xiao came up with a story that he bought them at a second-hand store. Ling Xian was very moved by this. He immediately remembered all those happy days when they trained together in their family gym. This impressed him so much that he pulled him closer and bowed to his brother. This thing was incredibly valuable to him. In addition, he guessed that the hero got them very hard, but did not interrogate him, but simply thanked him from the bottom of his heart. They promised each other that they would never lose this family heirloom again, the gloves would become a symbol of their friendship. After some time, someone knocked on their door, it was strange because they were not expecting guests and the time was very early. As it turned out, it was Li Yang, a short, plump guy, he looked very scared and it was noticeable that he was running here with all his might. This guy was Ling Zhao's only friend in his past life, during a time when no one supported him after his brother's death, only he did everything to help. His whole face was affected then, he said that he had a very important conversation with them, their lives could depend on it. Li Yang said that the Dark Matter faction is going to kill them, and they also plan to hang Ling Xiao on the largest bridge in the city. He heard this from his father who works there, a friend convinces the brothers that the best solution would be to run away from the city. The heroine is going to run away somewhere, if they dare to come to the house, 
then he will be strong enough to indicate where their place is. Well, his friend says that the guy is crazy, because this is a faction of dark matter, an organization that is higher than the police and all its members are incredibly strong. Ling Xiao of course knows about all this, but he still does not intend to run away, if he does this today, they will come for Li Yang the next day. It was too dangerous, if we left everything as it was, then the chances of their victory would be simply minimal, it was necessary to come up with some kind of plan. The hero's past life was quite easy to drink, but now he won't allow anyone to look down on him, he didn't care how strong his enemies would be, he could cope with anyone. He thinks that the blonde guy here is somehow connected with the Dark Matter faction, apparently it was he who asked for revenge for him, and perhaps the fighter contacted someone from prison. Having quickly thought about everything, Ling Xiao asks his comrade to take his older brother to the safest place, his health was now in the first place. The guy asks Ling Xian to lend him his gloves for one night, the brother decides to trust his younger one, but warns him to be as careful as possible. Xie Jin didn't know the real power of these gloves, the real power of this weapon was tens of times higher than he could imagine. Ling Xiao had already dealt with the Dark Matter faction in his past life, but he didn't expect them to appear so soon in this one. Thanks to his accumulated life experience, he understood that the entire world around him was divided into light and dark. The police represent justice, they are also the strongest organization in China, but this is only due to the fact that the stations are located throughout the country. At this time, the Dark Matter faction consists of fallen fighters, they have different strengths and are in different divisions, but one thing is for sure. Among all the members of this gang, you will never find at least one good person. In the end, who wants to break the laws of martial arts, it is difficult for such people to find work and, having received the mark of the fallen, they have to join there. The guy was very happy because his path was very different from such fighters who could not find their path and went over to the dark side. He wants to leave this sinful world, he has long been expected in the world of immortals, but he was still too weak and needed to try to improve the dagger again. After all, this is a second different weapon, it would be a big waste not to do anything with it, but you need to remember that such a weapon can only be upgraded twice. The hero has only one last chance left, if he fails this time, then this dagger will simply become useless. Ling Xiao concentrated completely and made absolutely every effort for this, fortunately he finally succeeded. The blade was covered with a glowing blue shell, it was completely transformed, and soon the knife was to greatly change its appearance. But suddenly something unusual begins to happen, the metamorphosis of weapons has stopped for some reason, the hero has improved a lot of things before, but has never seen anything like this. As it turned out, a double transformation occurred, this was only better for Ling Xiao, this blade should become a formidable weapon. Unexpectedly, this thing was able to turn into an authorized weapon, which meant that this blade was now endowed with a unique property. This particular knife now consisted of two different forms, fire and water, and it was also possible to move between them very easily. In addition, it was possible to change forms, not only the level increased, the authorized weapon always looks much better in appearance. The guy couldn't wait to test his new blade, he thought that one vase, which he never liked, would do just fine. He took the new thing in his hands and with one deft movement of his hand moved it up, immediately after that a large shock wave appeared. As it turned out, there was too much energy, this blow broke not only yours but also the table, now all this needed to be replaced. Now the knife was in water mode, I wonder how it will look in fire form, Ling Xiao decides that he will use it on those dark matter people. Late at night, a man in a suit approached his house, it was Xie Jin Kun, he was Xie Jin's older brother and the leader of the Quan Kun group. First of all, the man decides to check how strong the doors are in the house where the one he really wanted to kill today lived. With one strong blow, say Jin Kun knocks out the entrance doors, the blow was so strong that the boards flew several meters away. A hero was already waiting for him inside, in his hands was a newly created blade with which he easily cut what was left of his front door. After that, the guy calmly sat down on the sofa and said that the uninvited guest was now obliged to pay him for the repairs. The man asked him if he was the same Ling Xiao who just recently almost killed his younger brother. The hero replies that yes, it really was him, and besides, he does not regret anything, because the relative deserved everything that he eventually received. After these words, Xie Jin Kun seemed to go crazy, 
he suddenly rushed forward shouting that he would definitely take revenge on his brother. Just a moment later, he made a very strong and fast blow with his right hand, but for some reason his fist did not reach the target. As it turned out, Ling Xiao managed to repel the enemy's attack with his own, apparently his speed was even higher. He asked if the man really wanted to kill him with this slight movement, if he was afraid that now all his ribs would be broken. This only infuriated Xie Jin Kun more, he continued to put more and more energy into his fist because he believed that he was stronger. Well, even so, for a very long time he was unable to break through the hero's defense, it seemed that at some point sparks began to fly between their fists. As a result, Ling Xiao simply jumped back, and his opponent hit the air with all his strength, apparently he could not control his aggression well. Senior brother Xie Jin used only brute force, the guy asked if fighters who master the third stage really fight so badly. In response to this, Se Jin Kun said that he had not met such an interesting opponent for a long time, he could not even imagine that there were such strong fighters in this city. The man promised that he would color the darkness of tonight red, the color of Ling Zhao's blood. The opponent's blow contained as much as 2000 kilograms of force, no one had ever been able to withstand this attack before. The enemy was completely concentrated on this attack, he was already completely confident that victory would be his and now the hero would go to heaven. But suddenly the guy touched the man's hand with a slight movement, this movement was so fast that it could hardly be seen. It wasn't even a blow, but rather a deft move, martial art is not only about brute strength, but it looks like this jock never even went to school. Immediately after this, Ling Xiao hit his opponent with all his strength using his brother's gloves, this man was bad, even his brother was much better. Xie Jin Kun could not keep up with the hero's movements, he was very angry that this brat allowed himself to laugh at him. But the guy replied that he was not laughing at him at all, but was simply stating an obvious fact. The man promises to catch this brat and give him a home on earth, at that moment veins appeared on Se Jin Kun's face with anger. Each of his blows contained at least 1,500 kilograms of force, if Ling Xiao was reckless, he would simply die. What was even worse was that his own blow, even with gloves, weighed a maximum of the same 1,500 kilograms and could not do much harm to the villain. All this time, Se Jin Kun continued to attack aggressively, his blows were like shots from a machine gun. The guy was very lucky that his opponent was slow enough, if he had been faster, he would not have had a chance in this fight. If he wants to defeat such a strong enemy, he needs to try hard, the situation was getting very tense with each passing minute. Ling Xiao needed to find his limit, otherwise sooner or later he would lose due to his own fatigue. The hero manages to carry out a successful attack, after all, he had an advantage in speed, from the missed blow, the man retreats several steps back. Blood flowed from the enemy's nose, and a wide smile appeared on his face, he had already forgotten the last time he saw his own blood. I literally began to boil, he called the guy an incredible fighter, he hadn't had such a strong opponent for a very long time. Even two missed punches that weighed 1,500 kilograms only caused his nose to bleed, apparently his limit was somewhere around 1,700 kilograms. The enemy was truly incredibly strong, and due to the fact that the guy used gloves, his hands became numb. As a reward for an excellent fight, Se Jin Kun would strike with all his might, oddly enough, he was the leader of Quan Kun and had the third stage, although usually such leaders have at least the fourth stage. Ling Xiao suddenly realized that he was not dealing with an ordinary opponent, even though he was only level 3, his attacks were too strong. Xie Jin Kun was determined to end this fight here and now, and he lunged towards his enemy. A few moments later, an incredible blow followed, it seemed that the man had put all the strength he had into it. As a result of this, an explosion occurred that destroyed part of the room in which they were located, this was the price for the fight with him. After this, he promises to hang the hero's body on the highest bridge in their city, although the battle was difficult, he still managed to gain the upper hand. But suddenly the smoke that was still standing in the room after the explosion was dispelled by a stream of bright blue light. The man barely managed to dodge this attack, in fact, he was on the verge of death and survived only by a miracle. Xie Jin Kun immediately realized that it was some kind of magical weapon, but he had never seen such power before. A few seconds later, Ling Xiao So appeared from the smoke with his weapon in his hands, in such a short time he was able to master it perfectly. 
Suddenly a fair-haired girl appeared nearby, apparently she was awakened by a strong noise on the first floor, she asked who they were and what was happening here. She immediately realized that it was very unsafe here and tried to hide behind her blanket, the hero tried to calm her down and said that he would sort everything out. Although his opponent was incredibly strong and also cruel, Ling Xiao was confident that he would be able to cope with him. He continued to attack the man while he ran away, his opponent was truly unlucky, because he had to fight the former emperor. Xie Jin Kun realized that now he could not win, he had never seen such a strong weapon before. The hero continued to chase him, it seemed his opponent didn't know how to run away correctly, because it was very easy to catch up with him. He had no chance to escape unpunished, because he still had to compensate for all the damage he caused with his blow. This was the perfect moment to test the second form of his new magical weapon. The guy was so fast that at some point he found himself in front of the runner, Xie Jin Kun's face seemed to scream that he had never seen such a thing before. But the man was not going to just give up, he warns that this little thing has not yet won, today the schoolboy will die by his hand. Ling Xiao understood that his opponent was simply driven into a corner and did not know what to do, now all he could do was throw empty threats. The next moment the hero's blade was a few millimeters from the man's throat, and this was the end of their confrontation. Sei Jin Kun warns that if the guy kills him here and now, he will be imprisoned for murder in any case. Ling Xiao understood this very well, if he took this man's life now, he would never be able to go to university. The last thing he wanted in this life was to become the same trash as his current opponent. It wasn't just the police, because Xie Jin Kun was one of the leaders of Quan Kun, if he died, the top leadership would avenge him. The head of their organization was not just strong, but terrifyingly strong, he was the best fighter in the city, no one could compete with him. The guy thought for a second, and the man decided to take advantage of the moment and convinced him to quickly remove the weapon and let him go, otherwise soon there would be nothing left even of his corpse. But the hero replies that he does not know the feeling of fear, unfortunately his opponent will not have a chance to contact his comrades. As a result, Sei Jin Kun still remains alive, Ling Xiao only scared him with his blow, in fact, the death of this bandit was unnecessary. In response to the request to recover, the guy says that of course he is not going to kill anyone, it will be much better if he reunites the two brothers. The man immediately understood where everything was going, but soon he realized what situation he was in, half an hour later they were already at the police. As a result, the two brothers ended up in the same cell, now they had enough time to discuss everything. Suddenly the older brother breaks down and grabs the younger brother by the shirt, he was very interested in who this high school student was who almost killed him. Meanwhile, Hua Yen once again expresses gratitude to the guy, because in such a short time he helped catch two of the main criminals of the city. The captain says that Ling Xiao can receive the reward at any time, but the hero replies that it would be better if the police help him tomorrow night. Hua Yen happily agrees and just clarifies where they need to go, Ling Xiao replies that he will call them, if everything goes well, they will be able to get a promotion. The captain had no reason not to trust the guy, but he was excited by the guy's words about the promotion, which meant that tomorrow night they were going to kill the whole gang. The Quan Kun clan was not only strong, but also very mysterious, how could this guy be connected with such a dangerous organization? That day was June 17th, in his previous life. It was today that the Xiao Qing family suffered a huge downfall. Xiao Qing entered the same university as the guy, later they became very close, but due to the difference in their origins, they did not decide to take their relationship to a new level. As a result, in order to protect the hero, his beloved died, in this life he will never allow this to happen again. The next day, the headlines of all newspapers were the news that one of the heads of a large organization had been detained, and a schoolboy had participated in his arrest. The most senior members of the Kun Zhao clan very quickly learned about this event, and they were very upset by this news. The head of the clan was furious that one of his most loyal people had managed to foolishly allow himself to be caught, but he was even more enraged by this schoolboy. His assistant asked if they should change their plans for today, but the boss replies that this is not necessary and they will take care of their man and then, but today they have more important things to do. After this, the head of the clan used some unusual force, he grabbed his assistant by the throat, because he was very annoyed when someone starts to interfere with him. 
The secretary asks for forgiveness, and in the end the boss will pardon him, but only because he has a lot of work to do today and he has no time to bother with him. The frightened assistant fell to the ground and grabbed his neck, it was clear from his face that he was very scared and was short of air. The leader of the bandits today had to defeat another influential person who was the leader of the Xiao group, to increase his reputation, he needed to kill him. Ling Xiao returned home and immediately called his brother to protect him, he told the elder not to return to their family home for a while because it was too dangerous. In addition, if nothing happens, then Xiao Qing will come to him to invite him to her birthday, she wanted to apologize to him and get to know him better. Suddenly an unknown number called on his phone, it was very strange, because only his closest people had his number. The hero picked up the phone, and the voice on the other end asked him if he was looking for a house to rent. Apparently his number got into some online store, he hung up, but a few seconds later he heard beeps from his phone again. The guy got angry from such impudence and picked up the phone, he said that he didn't need a house, besides, he was too poor to rent anything, so he asked not to call here again. But in fact it was Xiao Qing, she asked for forgiveness because she didn't think that her phone call would anger him so much. Began she says that she is throwing a party tonight and really wants him to come to her too. Ling Xiao readily agrees and says that he will be on time, but after that he realizes that the girl is trying to tell him something else. As it turned out, my beloved was trying to ask him for one very important favor, she was clearly very worried. This party was unusual, her father organized a blind date for her, the guy who was supposed to come was very rich, but she didn't like him at all. The girl asks the guy to help her, because she is afraid that if she is not decisive enough now, she will live her whole life unhappy. All this time, the thought was spinning in her head that she did not want to live her life with an unloved person. As a result, Xiao Qing plucks up courage and asks the hero to come to the holiday today and pretend to be her boyfriend. The guy was a little surprised by such a request, the first thing he thought about was a secret club, all the participants of which were fans of his girlfriend, if they find out that she has a boyfriend, then he will be in trouble. Xiao Qing claims that this is just one night, if everything goes well, then at the end of the evening he will reward him generously, she just doesn't have any male friends at all. In fact, the hero was simply inflating his worth, now he was very happy, any man could only dream of this. The girl did not know about this and was very worried, all she now wanted to hear was her friend's approval in response to the request. After a few seconds, Ling Xiao agrees and says that she will help and, tomorrow evening he was completely her man, such words made her embarrassed. Right at that moment, her sister quietly crept up behind her and asked what she was doing here so late. Xiao Qing was overwhelmed with emotions and she screamed in surprise, which made Xiao Qian scared and asked if everything was okay with her sister, because she was all red. The brunette answers that everything is fine with her and leaves, and the blonde remembers that she has already noticed this behavior before, but cannot remember where. Suddenly she realizes that she saw the same behavior in her sister when she first fell in love with a boy from high school. It was evening outside, the hero was standing in the bathroom and getting ready, he did not expect that this party would be a blind date, besides, the leader of that group could make a move at any moment. His position was not very advantageous, his strength level was still low, and he had won all previous battles only thanks to weapons. Martial arts training is divided into two parts, one of them is known as Qi and is divided into ten stages, when someone reaches the tenth stage they move to a new level, but this is only the beginning of the journey. The next level is not accessible to everyone because if a person can master these skills, he will become immortal. That is why, in order to become immortal, you need not only to have magic and strength, but also to be a martial arts master. After several hours of persistent meditation, the guy finally achieved results, he felt the strength growing inside him. He didn't expect that after one practice of divine resolution, he would immediately break through to the three stages, it seems that in this life, the cultivation path will be much easier. It was a pity that Ling Xiao could only use divine resolution once every 15 days, but by building such a strong foundation, he could become much stronger. The hero swears that soon he will definitely be able to return to the world of immortals. Events are brought to another restaurant, this is where Xiao Qing's birthday was supposed to take place, the guy was already on his way here. At the entrance to the establishment, the girl's parents stood and greeted all the guests who came to her daughter's holiday. 
One of the guests was a guy who was chosen by Xiao Qing's father for a blind date, he says that the guy is a very busy person and is glad that they finally met, his name was Xiao Chu, but the mother looked very sad, it was clear from her face that she did not want her daughter to live her life with an unloved person. The birthday girl herself was still upstairs and waiting for her lover, she was very worried because the guy was delayed somewhere. Suddenly, someone knocked on her room and asked her to come down and greet the guests who had come to her for her birthday. Without waiting for an answer, the two men entered her room, the father told Xiao Chu to chat with the girl, and when the banquet starts, they will call them. It was clear from the guy's face that he didn't mind at all, his gaze looked a little crazy and created a feeling of anxiety. He went to the girl and immediately began to compliment her, the blonde said that her skin was light and shining like the moon, and she herself looked like a fairy. After that, the guy extended his hand and asked to touch Xiao Qing's skin, at this moment his face became even more frightening. But the birthday girl didn't want this, she says in a raised tone that he is a pervert and has no right to touch her, because this is her home and he must behave appropriately. Xiao Chu agree that this is her home, but only for now, because she herself understands what will happen next, her father himself chose it. After that, he calmly sits on the girl's bed, as if he were at home, and says that if she is obedient, then he will allow her to stay. Xiao Qing was very angry with such words, the birthday girl did not understand what kind of nonsense this idiot was talking about, she ordered him to immediately get off her bed. The guy was shocked by this answer, this sissy had been accustomed since childhood to being treated as the most special person, because he was from a very influential family. After this, the offended guest says that the girl is too arrogant and in any case she will have to obey him, he will definitely get everything he wants. Xiao Chu decides that someday he will take revenge on her and destroy her, but now he is not ready for this, it was clear from his face that he was very offended. The birthday girl stood in the middle of the room and thought that perhaps his family was up to something, they were very powerful. Meanwhile, in the forest near the mansion where the banquet was held, the leader of the bandits stood with his assistants, he noticed that a rich life was very boring. The villain threw his binoculars into the hands of the secretary and with a smile on his face said that, unfortunately, soon the sight of this house would be nothing but complete ruins. The people invited here belong to the top of society, even the cheapest car here costs more than a million, this could be expected, because the party was hosted by one of the five strongest families. Meanwhile, surprised guards stood near the main gate, they saw a strange guest who arrived on a broken bicycle, most likely he was just passing by. Ling Xiao at this moment was thinking why all the rich people build their mansions on the hills, getting here was not an easy task, fortunately his neighbor lent him her bicycle. To the surprise of the security guards, the guy was still planning to go to the party, and he also took up an entire parking space with his bicycle. He and his brother barely made ends meet, so the hero did not have expensive clothes for such an occasion, he hoped that Xiao Qing would not be ashamed of him. The men told Ling Xiao that he couldn't come here, and if he was here to collect bottles, then he should wait until the end of the party, only then he would be allowed into the backyard. The guy replies that he is not a simple garbage collector and asks to be let in, because the birthday girl herself invited him here. But in response, the guards only laughed loudly, they could not believe that such a loser could be invited to her birthday by Xiao Qing herself. One of them noticed that the hero's clothes were no more expensive than his uniform, this guy definitely wants to get inside to eat expensive food. But then the birthday girl herself came out and with a happy face called Ling Xiao to her place, she was very happy that the guy had come after all. She took his hand and led him inside, from the outside they looked like a very beautiful young couple. The guards were shocked by what they saw, the girl was really friends with him, and she was not shy about holding his hand. Inside, Guests approached the hero and wanted to know more about him, but Ling Xiao politely apologized and said that he just wanted to drink wine with the birthday girl. Xiao Qing asked him what kind of wine he was talking about, because he was still underage, the guy replied that it was just a joke. At this time, her father was making a speech on stage, he thanked everyone who came to his daughter's celebration that day, and after that he announced that today the birthday girl would be engaged to Xiao Chu. To confirm the deal, the man turns to the guy's father and offers to shake hands. But suddenly Ling Xiao and Xiao Qing appeared in the main hall, holding hands, everyone present was shocked by what they saw. 
The head of the family asked his daughter why she was holding this stranger's hand and who he even was. The girl told the guy that he didn't have to say anything, everyone around him would understand, he agreed and noticed that they paid a lot of attention to him. Immediately after their appearance, everyone around them began to whisper to each other, the guests were surprised at Ling Zhao's courage, because his outfit didn't even cost 200 yuan, the party promised to be hot. Only one reaction was different, Xiao Qian admired her sister, because it was cool to go against her father's will in front of everyone. At this moment, Zhao's father and son were furious, did they really want to stab them in the back, how dare he hold this woman's hand, they had already decided everything. The hero behaved confidently, it seemed that he even liked such attention, he began to greet everyone and thank them for being able to come here today. As it turned out, the guy was quite charming, he smiled widely and behaved like an aristocrat, even his cheap clothes could not spoil the impression of him. Soon the father of the birthday girl approached the couple, it was clear from his face that he was very angry, it looked like the party might be ruined. The girl's sister continued to admire this act, now the hero in her eyes turned out to be not such a fool after all. The father approached them closely and asked Ling Xiao who he was, the man did not know that his daughter had a boyfriend, he said that if he needed money, then let him look for a job. But the hero answers that he is not dating Ling Xiao because of his money, if he doesn't believe him, then let him ask his own daughter about it, what kind of person he is. The man continues to convince his daughter that the groom he chose for her is very talented, and one wrong step can ruin everything. The girl understands that her friend has created an ideal chance and decides to take advantage of it, she says in a loud voice that she is in love with him. At this moment, all the guests admired the girl's courage, they were able to see true love, the daughter even dared to rebel against her father. But before the head of the family, after such words, he became furious, how could this little one dare to contradict him, after all, he had done so much for her. He swung his hand at her and wanted to hit her with all his might, Xiao Qing saw this and was already ready to receive a blow in the face from her own father. But the guy grabbed the man's hand and said that he shouldn't hit her, if he has problems, then they can solve them like men and if he wants a fight, then let him fight him. After such a performance, all the guests lost their speech, it seemed that they were in some scene from a film, the hero was truly amazing. The father was so angry that he was ready to beat anyone who came to his hand, he agreed to fight with the one who dared to seduce his daughter. But at the last moment he was stopped by Zhang Yi and said that if they really love each other, then he has no reason to be angry and should just accept it. The head of the family understood that breaking an already completed deal would be a great disgrace for the entire family, and he began to apologize to his partner. It was clear from his face that all the words that came from him were insincere, but he continued to play the role and said that there was no need for an apology. Suddenly, he made a gesture with his left hand, moments after that, many armed mercenaries appeared out of nowhere. Xiao Chu, in turn, ordered the soldiers to capture all the members of the Xiao family and at the same time Ling Xiao, it seemed that he had something to talk to them about. A few minutes later the whole banquet turned into a living hell, no one understood what was happening and everyone tried to escape as quickly as possible. The father was no less shocked than the others, it could not even occur to him that his partner was capable of committing such an act. Having come to his senses a little, he shouted at him with all his might and asked what this bastard was doing. Xiao tells him that he simply doesn't like Xiao Shan Wan, they grew old together, it seems to him that the owner of the house became one of the richest people in the country and not entirely deservedly. In addition, he wanted to destroy his business, but now it was better for him to take care of his own safety and the preservation of his family. Meanwhile, the fleeing guests discovered that the main entrance doors were locked, and they urgently needed to look for an emergency exit. But Ling Xiao tells those present to never leave, because the criminals were not so stupid as to leave the emergency exit uncovered. Some people were so scared that they did not want to listen to the hero, they could not just sit and wait, if they had at least a 1% chance of being saved, they were ready to take the risk. Running away to look for an emergency exit, they recommended that everyone do the same, and if they listen to this student, they will die right here. There was a loud scream all around, it was also impossible to call the police, because the attackers were experienced and drowned out all communications. Xiao Qing did not expect that this could happen, she asks the hero to quickly leave here because this does not concern him, but Ling Xiao has already promised that he will help her and he cannot just run away. 
Xiao Chu, with an abnormal look, tells father that he is bored and wants to quickly catch this family, the man answers him that it will all be over soon. He was also very interested in young girls, so he ordered his thug to take them all to the top floor. The owner of the house did not want to just give up, he fought hand to hand against armed mercenaries and did a good job. He stood in front of everyone and promised the guests of his house that while he was alive no one would dare lay a finger on them, the man turned out to be a very brave man. His former partner figured that his only ally in this situation was too young to comprehend the powers of a normal chi body. Because of this, the villain wanted to solve everything quickly and takes a pistol from the pocket of his other jacket. A moment later, all the attackers pointed their weapons towards one person, Mr. Xiao found himself cornered. When Ling Xiao saw this situation, he realized that he no longer had time to stand behind, it was time for a fight. He took out his special weapon and brought it to Xiao Chu's throat, this brat was scared to death, his face turned pale and his knees trembled. But the guy didn't have time to teach him a lesson, because Xiao Qian was a little faster, she crept up from behind and grabbed the blonde with her whip. Your rope was wrapped around his neck, the girl warned that if he did not identify his killers, she would kill him. The man told Xiao Qian that she was quite brave, because she was not afraid to go against him, and he could kill her in a bunch of different ways, but the girl warns that if she dies, she will take his son with her. The villain had no other options and he reluctantly orders everyone to lay down their weapons, the fear of losing his son still won. All the girls around at first admired Xiao Qian, in their eyes she was very cool, they loved her despite the fact that she was a girl. Ling Xiao understood that everything was not so simple, the Xiao family was ready for this, otherwise the man would not have simply given up, most likely he had a plan B. Suddenly, someone was heard on the roof, apparently this was the same backup option, Mr. Zhao's expression immediately changed to a grin. The hero quickly shouted to Xiao Qian for the girl to leave immediately, now she was in great danger. But the little sister did not understand what he was talking about, because now they were in an advantageous position, running away from there meant losing their advantage. A second later, a man jumped from the roof, his appearance was accompanied by a strong explosion, this force was visible to the naked eye. Unfortunately, the girl received a serious blow and lay unconscious, the villain stood on her and said that it seemed like he accidentally stepped on someone. Xiao Chu turned pale with fear again, he screamed loudly, although this fool was not hurt at all, he remained completely unharmed. The father and sister immediately rushed to help the victim, but the guy told them to stop because the enemy was incredibly strong and they should have thought it over first. But no one heard him and two rushed to the attack, they sincerely wanted to take revenge on the enemy for what he did to their relative. But the opponent turned out to be too tough for them, he easily parried both blows and said that no one in this room could compete with him. Xiao Shunwen and Xiao Qing were shocked by what happened, they had never seen such power before, none of them could move. Xiao Chu and his father stood on the side all this time, they reported that this was Zhao Kuang, the leader of the Kuan group, and he was also considered the strongest fighter in the city. Even the other mercenaries were shocked by the information they heard, there were legends about this man that he was capable of killing 100 people with one blow. Ling Xiao realized that this was exactly the person who was soon to attack him, because the guy put one of his charges in prison. Zhang Yi ordered the villain to immediately kill everyone who continued to resist, this party had to be ended as soon as possible. At first, the head of the clan planned to break his opponent's arms and legs so that they would suffer longer, father and daughter thought that this was the end. But suddenly a powerful blow from his fist flies right into Zhao Quan's face, the attack was very fast, because even such a skilled fighter could not return from it. Immediately after this came a strong kick, it was a hero, he made it just in time, if he had delayed one more second, the situation would have been much worse. He told the villain that if anyone dared to touch his girlfriend, they would deal directly with him. These two blows were truly terrifying in their power, even the fighter who was considered invincible received severe damage. Xiao Qing and her father were shocked by what they saw, none of those present in this house could have imagined that this student had such power. Immediately after that, Ling Xiao turned his gaze to Xiao Chu and his father, they were the next in line whom he really wanted to put in their place. The two also couldn't believe their own eyes, he was definitely a student, but how could his strength be at such a high level? The guy made a deft and quick leap in the direction of his enemies, 
at the same moment the entire Xiao family guard rushed to protect their boss. But it was already too late, there was no saving him, because the hero concentrated on his attack, this blow could not be stopped. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a large fist of pure energy appeared, it was so dense that it could easily completely stop the guy's movement. Ling Xiao realized that Zhao Quan was also my use of Kang Chi, this was a complete surprise, because only a few people out of a million had achieved such a level of strength. The enemy rose to his feet, not a trace remained on his face from the blows that the hero dealt him, he asked his name because no one had beaten him like that for a long time. The hero replied that the villain already knew his name very well, he was the very student who sent his charges straight to prison bars. Zhang Yi and all his thugs understood who he was talking about, he was a local celebrity, because this news was in all the newspapers. At this moment, Xiu Shunwen began to understand what his dear daughter noticed in this man, it seemed that the father had become more lenient. The main enemy tensed up after Ling Zhao's words and veins appeared on his forehead with anger, he was determined to solve all his problems that evening. After this, Zhao Quan orders the bandits not to shoot at the hero, because he wants to deal with him single-handedly, it was a matter of honor. The opponents clashed in a duel, their blows were approximately equal in strength, each of them promised that today they would finish off their enemy. Due to the fact that both fighters were incredibly strong, their fight was accompanied by strong explosions of energy, the entire space around them seemed to be on fire. The owner of the house asks his daughter to take advantage of the situation and quickly leave here, she had a chance to call the police as soon as possible, and she also had to help her sister. Xiao Qing doesn't want to leave her father alone, she's very worried about him, and even though they haven't been getting along lately, the girl has always loved him very much. The man replies that he cannot afford to leave this guy here alone, he was indebted to him and even if he has to die here, it will be the death of a man. But the girl doesn't want to leave, because it was she who dragged her friend into this whole mess and now it was she who had to help him escape from here. She asks her father to take Xiao Qian escape with her, while she plans to stay in the house and fight side by side with Ling Xiao. Hearing these words, the father did not know what to do next, he was very proud of his daughter, but could not afford to leave her in such a dangerous place. Suddenly the dialogue was interrupted by a woman's scream, Zhang Yi he roughly grabbed her by the hair and dragged her closer to what was happening. As it turned out, this bastard took the birthday girl's mother hostage, so he planned to turn the situation on his side. Her husband and daughter were very scared for her, all this time they thought that the woman was hiding somewhere and now she was not in danger. Now, she is also scared to death, but is ready to sacrifice herself and shouts to the man to take his daughters and quickly leave here. After these words, the villain kicked the mistress of the house in the stomach with all his might, apparently he did not like this initiative and thus wanted to shut her up. The head of the Xiao family turned to Xiao Qing and said that she might not care about herself, but what about everyone else? The girl breaks down from what she sees and rushes towards her mother's offender, and Xiao Shan Wen asks his ex-partner to come to his senses at least a little and stop these outrages. In fact, the villain deliberately made the birthday girl emotional and when she fell for his tricks, he immediately ordered his bodyguard to shoot her. A moment later, several shots rang out, only at that moment Xiao Qing realized that she had made a big mistake when she was led by emotions. Just at this time, a fierce battle was taking place, and because of this, the hero could not see what was happening to his beloved. When the guy heard the shots, disturbing thoughts began to creep into his head, because of this he hesitated and missed a strong blow. Zhao Kuang was too strong for anyone to dare to be distracted during a fight with him, it was very arrogant. Ling Xiao understood this, if you are distracted for even a second, you can die immediately, the fight turned out to be very intense. The hero could not afford to fight all evening, he decides to take advantage of his advantage and takes out his brother's gloves. The stakes rose higher and higher when the villain saw that his opponent was going to use a weapon, he increased the amount of his energy to the maximum. As soon as the guy rushed to attack, the bandit immediately felt the incredible power that came from him, he realized that this time the guy was using his strength to the fullest. If he missed this blow, he might die, but this man was not one of those who was so easy to kill. Zhao Quan believed that although the hero is very strong, no one is able to jump above his head, after which he blocks his attack. But Ling Xiao was not going to stop there, as it turned out, he still had plenty of strength left and this was just the beginning. His opponent was shocked, 
he believed that this was the guy's limit, it couldn't even occur to him that an ordinary student could be so strong. The enemy jumped several meters back in an attempt to evade, and at this moment a lightning discharge appeared between the opponents, which consisted entirely of qi energy. A moment later, Ling Xiao uses his glove to absorb all this power and punches his opponent in the face with all his might. This attack was very successful, Zhao Quan was completely paralyzed by the discharge of energy, he could no longer fight and apparently lost this confrontation. A few moments later, the villain takes off and flies backwards to the other end of the room. Everyone who was in the room at that moment did not believe their own eyes, the one whom everyone considered a living legend and the strongest fighter in the city was defeated right now. Zhang Yi realized that he had big problems, because even the strongest warrior whom he hired for his plan lost, and now he had to somehow get out of trouble himself. The villain started bleeding from his mouth and for a long time he could not get up from the floor, but at the same time he claimed that his will was still strong and the fight must continue. At this moment, Ling Xiao shouts that this person must under no circumstances be allowed to get back on his feet. The hero uses special spells which are several energy threads that are woven into a network. When the opponent was immobilized, the guy took out his special blade and was going to finish him off once and for all, perhaps such a chance would no longer exist. But suddenly he notices that his beloved was injured and is now lying on the floor, Ling Xiao immediately changes the course of his thoughts. The first thing he had to do was find out who dared to harm his girlfriend, the one who did this should immediately be punished. The bandits decide to take advantage of the moment and simultaneously fire their guns in hopes of killing Ling Xiao once and for all. But the hero easily repels every bullet shot, for this he uses his brother's gloves, it was indeed a very useful weapon. The villains wondered whether the person was really standing in front of them now, why not a single bullet could hit him, is this possible? The guy believes that such a person is not worthy of asking him any questions, they shouldn't have laid a finger on Xiao Qing, now they will feel all the consequences. Xiao Chu and his father immediately began begging for mercy and making pitiful attempts to escape from the mansion. But Ling Xiao didn't want to hear a word about mercy, any violence must be punished, this is an inviolable law of nature. Energy threads again appeared in the air, they envelop the villain in the same way and inflict severe injuries on him. After the blonde saw what happened to his father, he began to sob like a child and beg to leave him alive. The mercenaries all fell to their knees and began to make excuses, they said that they were simply hired for money and did not even know what their mission would be. Following them, Xiao Chu fell to his knees, the brat burst into tears even more and said that he had nothing to do with this situation, in his words, the whole plan from beginning to end belonged to his father. But the hero was not going to listen to this chatter for a second longer, there was no point in playing the fool in front of him, this game was already over. Once again, the guy carries out his special attack and makes everyone who dared to harm his loved one feel the pain. Meanwhile, the police were already rushing to the place where they were assigned to appear at a certain time. When a squad of policemen led by Hua Yen arrived at the scene, they did not believe what they saw with their own eyes. It was incredible, but the schoolboy somehow managed to neutralize all the criminals on his own, and also remained unharmed. These people have committed crimes and will definitely be punished for them, they will spend the next few years behind bars. When it was all over, the head of the Xiao family thanked Ling Xiao from the bottom of his heart for helping to save the lives of those close to him. From now on, he is the great benefactor of their family, they were ready to give the guy anything he wanted, he could not be shy and ask for anything. The hero replies that he understands everything and is ready to make a choice, among all the riches of this world, he will in any case choose Xiao Qing. Although the girl was wounded, she heard these words very well, they touched her very much and she blushed with embarrassment. Her mother noticed that modern youth are very romantic and that's good, because her husband hasn't behaved like that for a long time. The birthday girl asked the guy what he was talking about, because they had only known each other for a couple of days, was he really ready to start a serious relationship so quickly? When the family heard this, they were very surprised, they still thought that the guy and the girl had known each other for a long time and were dating. The father asked his daughter what all this meant, hadn't they been a couple for a long time, what was going on here anyway? At this moment, the girl realizes that she burned herself out, this whole situation greatly influenced her and she completely forgot about her plan. Ling Xiao decided to confess everything on his own and said that in fact he is not her boyfriend, 
but his desire is for the girl to be free and decide for herself what to do. Today she turned 18 years old, her parents were obliged to allow their daughter to manage her life as she wanted. It was at this moment that Ling Xiao realized what the hero really meant, in her opinion it sounded quite romantic, she would want to live her life next to such a person. These words also touched her parents, they were surprised at how little time they devoted to their daughter and they themselves did not understand what dreams she had. The father immediately began to blame himself for what happened, because it was his idea with the engagement, if not for him, none of this would have happened. Having thought everything over carefully, the head of the family promises to fulfill the wishes of his new family friend, from now on his daughter will be able to independently manage her life. From this day on, he will not interfere in her affairs, she can do whatever she wants and follow the call of her heart. Ling Xiao was incredibly happy to hear these words from her dad, tears of joy appeared in her eyes and she thanked her parents. Soon the doctors arrived, they quickly headed to the house to save everyone who was injured as a result of the bandits' attack. They quickly took Xiao Qian onto a stretcher and headed straight to the hospital, now the girl will be fine. The girl's father and mother were glad that her daughter had such a friend, this guy was definitely capable of achieving great success. It seems that the man was not quite ready to send his daughter on a free voyage, he still, as before, recommends that she not let such a person go. Soon all the ambulances left and there was finally silence, now this situation was resolved. Zhao Kuang was supposed to complete his mission tonight, but he was unlucky enough to meet a hero. What Ling Xiao likes most about Divine Resolution is the ability to take away martial arts from other fighters, in his past life, he had accumulated more than 10,000 powers. The guy was completely immersed in his own thoughts, but suddenly the police captain approached him and once again thanked him for his help. Hua Yan invited him to join the police, but the hero replies that, unfortunately, he is not qualified enough to join such a serious matter. As an exception, Ling Xiao can become a police officer without any recommendations, he has already proven his dedication to the law. In fact, the stronger a person is, the easier it is for him to take the wrong path, Zhao Kuang was a great example of this. Only at that moment did the hero realize that the police knew that he was an unusual student, but a person who possessed at least the third level of qi. Ling Xiao replies that he needs to hurry home, and in the future, if he has the opportunity, he will definitely become a policeman. The captain took out a pack of cigarettes and lit one of them, although this guy helped them, but for the first time he felt something strange from him. And now this student was much more dangerous than when he brought the villains to the police the first time. The hero hurried to the Ling family residence, where his friend Li Yang was already waiting for him, he seemed incredibly happy to see Ling Xiao again. His older brother said that they had already received a call from the police and reported that he had managed to single-handedly deal with a huge gang of criminals. The guy said that he didn't do anything special, because he promised earlier that no one would dare to offend those who were dear to him, this was just the beginning, then he would heal his brother. Ling Xian tells his younger brother that there is no need to worry about him so much, because he is enough to have him. But the hero says that the medicine can be ready tomorrow, and also returns the gloves, they may soon be useful to him again. He also gives his magic blade to his faithful friend, Li Yan was very surprised and happy at the same time, he had never seen such a thing before. This was not just a second stage weapon, this knife contained two elements, and now it was completely his. But it seems that the comrade did not quite know how to handle such a weapon, immediately after he picked it up, an uncontrollable streak of energy appeared in the room. Ling Xiao was too tired today, and it was also very late, the guy says goodbye to everyone and goes to his room to rest. He gave his weapon to a friend, because there was no longer a need for it, now the hero had a new improvement. Now he could freely use Zhao Kuang's abilities, in the future he would definitely shine at the very top of the world. Instead of resting, Ling Xiao once again sat down to meditate, he couldn't just waste his precious time. He really wanted to heal his brother's legs, to do this he needed to break through to the fourth stage as soon as possible. The guy did not expect that the divine resolution would help him so much in increasing his own strength, the special technique accelerated his cultivation three times. He could reach the required level of strength very soon, in this life, his abilities improved much faster. But suddenly something strange happened, blood gushed out of Ling Zhao's mouth and nose, he couldn't understand what was happening to his body. He had to stop his attempts at meditation, 
it seemed that such rapid growth was taking too much of a toll on his physical body. The guy was thinking about why this happened, apparently his body could not tolerate such a rapid cultivation of strength. No matter how strong he was, he could not get ahead of time itself, some laws of the universe defied even him. If he continues his attempts at the same pace, he would rather die than achieve his goals. While the hero was wiping off the blood, Ling Xian appeared in his room, he bought some snacks and wanted to invite his younger brother to try them. When he saw the guy with the napkins, he thought the same thing that first comes to mind for any person in such a situation. Ling Xiao immediately noticed the sly expression on his elder brother's face and understood what he was thinking when he saw such a picture. At that very second, the hero began to make excuses and said that this was not at all what Ling Xian was thinking about. The next day, at the school where Xiu Qing and Xiu Qian studied, the teacher addressed their class and said that the sisters had successfully passed the exam with a good grade, but their stupid classmates will have to try very hard to get into a normal university. Martial arts universities are divided into five categories from D to S, for students from a small town to enter an A-class university is a great success. There were many unqualified people among his classmates, most of them would not get into universities above B rank. When it was Ling Zhao's turn, his teacher was very surprised, his grades were beyond praise. The whole class was shocked how this guy, who simply slept in almost all lessons, could have such high scores in all subjects. As a result, the hero received a grade of S-, minus. with this result he could easily enter an S-rank university or any other university at his discretion. Immediately after the excellent student took his documents, everyone in the class began to whisper among themselves that it was incredible to have such a fighter in their class. In fact, Ling Xiao was holding back his strength in order to receive a minus grade, if he used his full potential, it would raise too many questions. Xiao Er also received a very good score in humanities, she was a petite, pretty girl with white hair. This result surprised the students no less, because this student could not even hit 20 kilograms of force on the meter. In a past life, the hero and this girl never crossed paths, but in this world they exchanged a few words, the first time when he broke through the wall in her house, and the second time when he asked her for a bicycle. The guy did not expect that she would be able to pass the humanities exam so well, he himself could hardly do it. When a classmate walked next to his desk, she accidentally touched a folder with his documents, causing it to fall to the floor. This made the girl very embarrassed and hurried to pick up the folder, Ling Xiao also bent down to help her. I'm trying to pick up the papers as quickly as possible, my classmates bend down at the same time and accidentally bump their foreheads. The hero asked if everything was okay with her, and this made the girl even more embarrassed, and her cheeks turned bright red. The classmate said that she was fine and hurried to go to her desk, she was very shy. When the guy came home, he immediately wanted to show off his highest grade to the elder, Ling Xian noticed that his brother was very happy and asked what was the matter. Li Jiao took out a sheet and praised Ling Xiao, grade A was a very good result, the hero is surprised, because he received a higher grade. And his brother notices that on the documents, instead of a photograph of the guy, there is a blonde girl pasted on it. He asks why Xiao Er's name is on his exam paper, the guy understands that he and his classmate mixed up their documents. Immediately after this, Ling Xiao ran to her house to fix everything, after all, they needed these documents very soon. Before entering, the hero wondered why the front door was so dirty, but decided that it was none of his business and knocked on the door. For some reason, no one opened the door for him, the guy decides to turn the door handle on his own, and with the words that he is their neighbor, he is trying to get inside. As it turned out, the front door was not even locked, and inside all the furniture and renovations were very old, this place was very strange, especially for a girl. Ling Xiao walked further and tried to find someone, he explained the situation in which he and his classmate found themselves. When suddenly the hero notices that the girl is lying motionless on the cold floor, it looked very strange and creepy. The guy was a little scared and tried to understand what happened to his friend, she might need medical help. Well, fortunately, it turned out that there was nothing serious with his classmate, for some reason, she was lying on the floor and was very exhausted. In a quiet whisper, the mistress of the house said that she was very hungry, it was not clear whether she was acting strangely for no reason, or whether she really did not have money even for food. 
After Ling Xiao heard the words about food, he immediately decided to quickly go home and cook something quickly. When Xiao Er saw the food, she immediately picked up her chopsticks and started eating her dinner, looking as happy as a little child. The guy advises her not to rush, because food will not escape her, if his older brother were not sleeping, he would ask him to cook something, because he is a real professional. But this food is enough for her, she has never tasted anything tastier in her life, and her words were filled with great gratitude. He asked her when she last ate, as it turned out, the last time was three whole days ago, because of this she fainted. Ling Xiao admires her willpower, but doesn't understand why she does it, because thinness is good, of course, but it's too much to mock yourself like that. But the girl was not starving for the sake of losing weight, due to the fact that she had to study hard for exams, she could not work part-time, and she simply did not have any other money. When the hero heard this, he asked her to eat as much as she wanted, he also asked where her parents were, they were probably on a business trip. But everything turned out to be much sadder, his classmate's parents were dead, she had lived alone for a very long time. The guy apologizes for his question, he didn't think it was like that. Xiao Er was fine, she was not upset at all, the guy seemed like a very good person to her, she would hand over his certificate immediately after she had dinner. Her fate was somewhat similar to the fate of Ling Xiao, the hero does not understand how it happened that there were so many people around, but no one paid attention to the broken building. After the girl finished eating, she thanked the guy again and went to her room to finally return his certificate to him. Ling Xiao notices that her movements do not look entirely natural, as if something was preventing her from moving normally. He also remembers that in class someone said about a time when Xiao Er couldn't even lift 20 kilograms on the machine. She was very hardworking and kind to others, the guy really wants to help her in everything he can. He went straight to her and intended to find out more about her, it seemed to him that she was definitely hiding something. The girl became embarrassed again and said that she could have brought him his certificate herself, there was no need to come to her house. The hero asked her why she could not create a force of even 20 kilograms, because even ordinary people can easily reproduce a force of 40 kilograms. A classmate was surprised by this question and said that she was not hiding anything, but it was clear from her face that she was confused. Suddenly, some kind of glow appears on her chest, Ling Xiao immediately notices it, it was clearly somehow related to magic. After a few seconds, the glow intensified several times, because of this the girl felt pain, it seemed that she was weakening before her eyes. At some point, she completely weakened and fell to the floor, apparently this thing was sucking out her vitality, the guy urgently needed to do something. He asked Xiao Er what was wrong with her, but she didn't answer because she was too weak and needed to be rescued urgently. After some time, the glow turned into icy traces, with every second they covered more and more space on the girl's body. She said that she was in a lot of pain, and the cold was gripping her body more and more, what was happening to her was like some kind of damned seal. The guy apologized to her and took off her clothes, this was necessary in order to assess the damage that the seal caused to her body. A classmate was getting worse, her temperature rose and she was covered in sweat, it was the mark of an ice spider. Her strength was only enough to say that she was cold, the hero finally guessed what kind of technique it was, but he could not understand how such a secret technique could end up on Xiao Er's body. She couldn't stay in this state for long, she urgently needed to pour as much anarchy as possible into her. Ling Xiao was only at the third stage of qi, if he healed it, he would not have enough energy to defend himself. But there was one way, if he takes off her clothes, the energy will be transmitted much better, the guy understands that he is crossing the line and once again asks for forgiveness from his friend. Everything he was about to do now was necessary to save her, they had no other choice. The hero put his classmate on the floor, she was getting worse every minute, at this rate she could have died. Ling Xiao immediately began the energy transfusion procedure, for this he needed full concentration and a little time. They sat in this position for several tens of minutes, in order for everything to go properly, they had to act carefully. After some time, the blue seal began to gradually weaken, which required a considerable amount of energy. In fact, the guy was stronger than he thought, the abilities he now possessed were impressive, but they were quite difficult to control. When the curse stopped working, Xiao Er finally came to her senses, apparently she did not remember what happened to her during the fever. Suddenly tears appeared in the girl's eyes, 
she was incredibly ashamed because her body was dirty, she was so poor that there was not enough money even for basic needs. The hero looked at her excitedly, he felt incredibly sorry for his friend, at that moment he wanted to do everything possible to calm her down. He held her close to him and said that she was beautiful no matter what, such little things could not overshadow her beauty. Xiao Er began to cry even more and thank her savior, she no longer remembered when someone treated her with such kindness. After everything that had happened, her main desire was to quickly go to the shower, she wanted to quickly wash off today. But the question remained open, how could this seal appear on the body of a classmate, this secret technique is very rarely used on people. Soon the girl came out of the shower and once again expressed her gratitude, Ling Zhao's clothes suited her perfectly. The guy was happy, because he managed to cheer up his girlfriend at least a little, it was the least he could do for her. He also asked her this seal came from on her body, but Xiao Er knew nothing about its origin. It was hard to believe, but this thing had been with her since her birth, for seventeen long years it prevented her from enjoying life normally. The hero was shocked when he found out about this, was it really possible that this technique had been stealing her energy all her life, he had suspicions about who could have had a hand in this. A classmate asks not to worry about her, because she has already gotten used to it for so many years, it seemed to her that everything was fine. In fact, everything was bad, the guy asked her if it seemed to her that the attacks were getting stronger and stronger each time, Xiao Er was surprised to confirm this guess. The guy also needed to know how many days were left until her 18th birthday, a lot depended on this information. As it turned out, there was just over one week left until her 18th birthday, but how could this information help them? The thing was that this seal exists for 18 years, and after that it explodes, if this happens, then not a bone will remain from the girl's body. If you didn't get rid of this thing, it was guaranteed to kill her, so they had very little time to solve this problem. The friend was very scared and asked if Ling Xiao was joking, her face showed great anxiety. Of course, the hero did not lie, but all was not lost and this curse could be lifted, but it is not so easy. A classmate strongly asks to be saved, because she doesn't want to die at all, she wants to live, go to university and do all sorts of other things. Xiao Er takes a step forward saying that she really wants to change fate, but due to the fact that the shoes on her feet are not the right size, she awkwardly falls straight forward. As a result of this, they both found themselves in a slightly awkward situation, their classmates fell to the floor, while the girl was wearing only someone else's shirt. A second later, the two were lying on the floor, the situation was really uncomfortable, they were both embarrassed. Right at that moment, Ling Xian walked into their room, he was on time as always, he was puzzled by the picture that stood before his eyes. The couple quickly rose to their feet, and the younger brother immediately began to explain to the elder that all this was not what he could think about. Ling Xiao urged his friend to get up quickly and confirm his words that this was all a big misunderstanding. But Xiao Er only pressed herself closer to the guy, he didn't quite understand why she was doing this, they were just friends. In her entire life, he was the first person who treated her so well, if this is his desire, then she is ready to become his girlfriend. A second later, the girl persistently asked Ling Xiao to immediately forget the words she had just said, while they were still lying on top of each other. At one moment, their gazes crossed, they looked at each other with loving eyes, and at that moment a spark flashed between them. The friend wanted to thank the hero so much that she was ready to do anything, she really wanted to do something good for him. The hero stops her, Xiao Er thought that she simply didn't like the guy at all, because what other reason could there be for such behavior? In fact, Ling Xiao believed that girls should value and respect themselves, so you shouldn't rush at everyone, if they are meant for each other, then fate itself will bring them together. The classmate was sincerely grateful to him for his free help, he was the best person she had met in her entire life. The girl hugs him once again, from her behavior it was immediately clear that she had lacked simple human attention since childhood. During the time of Ling Zhao's greatness, many fairies and goddesses lined up just to talk to him, if he were not so strong, he would not have gotten away with it. But Xiao Er's hug seemed unusual to him, they were so warm and soft that he didn't want this moment to end. At one point the guy started bleeding from his nose, it looked like he was a little nervous and should have cooled down. In response to a classmate's offer of help, he replies that everything is fine with him, and besides, there are more important things to do now. 
Tomorrow Ling Xiao was going to go to a place where they could not only cure his brother's legs, but also deal with her seal. The next morning they were in the city of Nanyu, from here the guy and girl had to go to the mountains in search of that very place. But there was one problem, they needed some kind of transport, because climbing the mountains on their own feet was too difficult a task. Fortunately, finding one interesting means of transportation was quite an easy task in these parts, and they would soon have one. It was a special riding bull, Xiao Er was surprised by such an unusual vehicle, but in the mountains where there are no roads, such an assistant is worth its weight in gold. After that, the friends set off, the girl almost fell off the mount several times, but Ling Xiao caught her every time. The road took them almost the whole day, only in the evening they managed to arrive at the right place, it looked like a very old and abandoned village. The hero asked his friend to be a little quieter, because there were no people here, but someone else lived. After that, he took the girl in his arms and together they walked closer to the houses, which it felt like no one had been in for 100 years. In the place where they were now, it was very important to remain silent, and no matter what you saw and heard there, your mouth must remain closed. Their bull went first, after the animal walked a few meters, a strange noise was heard in one of the houses. Suddenly, from the window of an abandoned house, something resembling a toad's tongue enlarged several hundred times appeared sharply, this thing grabbed their assistant, Xiao Er was very scared when she saw this picture. Ling Xiao figured out the right moment and grabbed the tentacles using his newly acquired ability. He turned to someone and asked if he really wanted to take the bull, without even listening to the request of the one who brought him here. After that, the guy pulled this thing towards himself with all his strength, as it turned out the owner of this vile organ was a living creature. Specifically, this was the Toad Man of Five Poisons, he was the only inhabitant of this godforsaken village, now it was clear why people did not live here. Due to the fact that the monster was revealed, he had to attack openly, he released some kind of poison from his mouth, fortunately the hero managed to cover himself and his classmate with a special barrier. It was one of the most powerful poisonous gases, the girl had just recently read about it in one of the encyclopedias. Thanks to the timely protection, even this poison could not harm them, they had only one reason for visiting here, if the toad person does not want to get hurt, then he must behave appropriately. The monster realized that in the current situation he had no choice, he agrees to listen to the request of the uninvited authorities and remove his tongue. The creature asked who they were and why they came here, besides, how did this guy even know about this place and what his name was? Ling Xiao replies that it doesn't matter how he knows about this place, they were only interested in the path to get to their sacred lands. The toad man was not going to let them through, who were they anyway so that he would allow them to enter their sacred home. The guy was persistent, he quickly moved to the creature and told him that he knew everything about his clan and in particular about how many sins the toad man had committed. But the local village resident was not convinced by this, he didn't care about his sins, and besides, no one in this world was a saint. It was funny for Ling Xiao to watch this green man try to elude him, but it would more likely lead to his death than save him. After this, the hero uses the power he received from Zhao Quang to grab the toad man, he warns him that he is giving him the last chance to stay alive. After such an attack, the monster finally realized that it was better to obey, he talks about the passage to the sacred lands, the path is hidden deep in the gorge where ordinary people cannot pass. A local resident asks him not to kill him, because then he will be able to show them the right way to the place they have been looking for for so long. Ling Xiao lets him go, but says that if the toad man starts lying to him, then he will have no remorse in finishing him off at any moment. As a result, they set off on a journey, the road lay through dense thickets through which an ordinary traveler would never be able to pass. On the way, they notice a whole bunch of women's clothes, as it turned out these were the clothes of the girls who were killed by this green beast, if you dig up the ground nearby, you could find their bones. The girl was very scared, she wondered why the police didn't do anything about it, was it really impossible to avoid it? Unfortunately, the police officers could not do anything, because even the head of the entire country's police force was only at the third stage of Qi. And for creatures like these, even people with the fourth stage were an easy target, moreover, that creature was the weakest of the entire clan. Xiao Er was still worried about the question, did all these girls really die in vain, and as long as he is free, new victims will appear again and again. The hero asks his friend not to worry about it, 
after he gets what they came here for, this sect will disappear from the face of the earth. In his previous life, he used their gate in search of a breakthrough, then he was almost at the fifth stage, and even so, he only miraculously managed to survive. That day, he and Li Yang fell into the trap of these creatures, his comrade blamed himself for everything, because it was because of him that they went this way. Soon all the members of the cult arrived to them, there were five of them in total, each of them was completely different from the others. The toad man hit Ling Xiao in the face, the monster noticed that the guy had rough skin and a dense body, this was not at all interesting to him. This creature was more interested in girls, why not go hunting for them, because it would be much more interesting. The guy told them that if they want to kill him, then let them kill him, he made a serious mistake when he fell into their trap, but if there is life after death, then he will definitely return and take revenge. All this time, Li Yang continued to blame himself for what happened, if they had taken a different path, then this whole situation would not have happened. Then the Black Widow approached them, she didn't want to kill them so quickly, she wanted to stay with them a little longer, according to her they were pretty good. She planned to suck their blood and then get rid of their worthless human bodies, such killing was just her style. The guys were shocked by what they heard, they understood that perhaps these creatures would kill them, but this method was beyond cruelty. At this moment, a black snake gets into the conversation, according to her, she has a better idea on how to take the lives of these two. Her plan was that one of them would give her his hands, then they could let them go, but on the condition that the other guy would watch all this. The hero understands that this group of psychopaths is simply mocking them and wants to break their psyche, this was their favorite pastime. The other two were called Centipede and Scorpio, according to them, nowadays people are very selfish, no one would sacrifice themselves for others, so there was no point in such bullying. Ling Xiao understood that his comrade had never been in such situations before, he was very scared, the guy had no choice but to sacrifice his hand. But as soon as he opened his mouth to take the initiative and give his hand to this creature, Li Yang suddenly beats him and insists that it is his wrist that is taken away. He was aware that it was entirely his fault, therefore, like a real man, he must decide this issue himself, if his friend has respect for him, he must respect this choice. The black snake accepts this answer, however, it didn't make any difference to her whose limbs she cut off, she was ready to do it right now. A very long snake-like tongue suddenly appeared from her mouth, and with it she tied Li Yan's hands. A moment later, she strikes quickly with her sharp claws, causing her best friend's arms to be separated from her body. The memories of the previous life are still fresh in Ling Zhao's mind, in this life it was necessary to let the five poisons restore King Gu, this method was perfect for making them suffer. Soon they came to the sacred lands, deadly poisons were sprayed everywhere, people had to be extremely careful here. The guy already knew about this, he recommends that the man to the toad talk less and move forward faster, they needed to get to the right place as quickly as possible. The girl followed him and was surprised at how refined his level of energy control was, the shield with which he surrounded them was incredibly thin. In fact, the green man led the intruders into a trap, although he lost to the hero in that village, but on the sacred ground his death was inevitable. Along the way, Xiao Er notices very rare flowers that she recently saw in a biology textbook, she was surprised by the fact that in this place they grew at every step. The point was that poisons and medicines are very similar, and therefore medicinal herbs grow much better in certain places, which is why they came here. This was the only place in the world where one could remove the eye spider's seal and heal the elder brother's legs. Suddenly the toad man stopped, he did this despite the fact that they had not yet reached the end point, it immediately became clear that the monster was planning something. After that, he turns to someone and says that they have guests, they should come out and greet them properly. The girl was scared and didn't understand what the green man was talking about, didn't he promise that he would bring them to the right place in safety? The five poison master says that she is very stupid, because he only promised to see them through, but he did not say a word that he would not want to kill them here. Immediately after these words, several more creatures appeared near him, at first glance, they were very similar to people. Now the whole family was gathered, they were happy that such wonderful toys themselves had come into their trap, they couldn't wait to play with them. Xiao Er tells her classmate that they are trapped and they should get away from here as quickly as possible, but Ling Xiao replies that if they leave now, then they will no longer have a chance to lift her curse. 
The friend did not want him to risk his life for her, if her fate was to die, then she was ready for it, but there was no need for him to simply die here. But the guy didn't even want to listen to such words, he would never agree to this, because Xiao Er had a long and happy future ahead of him. He asks her to go ahead and wait for him a little, he will figure everything out here himself, he had old scores to settle with these creatures. After this, the hero uses his skill and moves the girl to a safe place, this will allow him not to worry about her and concentrate. These vile creatures made a big mistake when they came out of their cozy shelters, now they will not be able to use his girlfriend as a hostage. The cult members did not understand what this young man was saying, even if he sent this girl to another place, she would die from the poisonous soil in any case. It seemed to Black Widow that this brat was simply underestimating them, all the clan members were here, and even the police were not an obstacle for them, what was this student going to oppose them with? In addition, they were on their territory, as he was going to fight with them, even if the ground was his feet, it was like another rival for him. The black snake decides to attack first, and it seemed that this fool was an easy prey, she was already imagining how she would take his life. Her technique was a large number of purple snakes that immediately headed towards Ling Xiao. Just a couple of days ago this would have been a big problem for him, but now everything was different and such a simple attack was not enough. The guy was confident in his victory, he only thought about how he could kill all these creatures with one blow and quickly move on. The cult members continued to be surprised by the words of this boy, they were sure that even such an attack would end his miserable life right here and now. There were a huge number of summoned beings, it would have been impossible for any other person to get out of such a situation and still remain okay. Suddenly the hero disappears somewhere. Centipede realizes that he simply disappeared for a while, it was a very impulsive step on his part. Suddenly the villains notice that right in the center of the large pile of snakes some kind of glow appeared, it looked like it was a bomb. A few seconds later, a huge explosion thundered, the hero somehow managed to move to another place, and in his place he placed explosives. These were special mini-bombs, he borrowed them from Director Hua before setting off to these lands. Ling Xiao was in complete control of the situation and had the advantage, he could calmly decide who he should finish off first. The toad man jumped back several meters, the explosion scared him very much, he realized that his opponent was strong. There was no way to deal with him quickly now, the best solution now was to retreat and regroup. But his path is blocked by another explosion, it was another bomb attack, the green man understands that if he stays here, he will die. But the guy was not going to just let this monster go, thanks to his concentration and speed, he quickly found it and instantly closed the distance. The enemy didn't even understand how Ling Xiao ended up behind him so quickly, in this situation, he no longer had time to dodge his attack. The hero carries out a series of strong blows using his unique technique, he wanted to finish off the master of poisons as soon as possible. The rest of the sect members also recognized that this guy was very strong, in order to deal with him, a good plan was needed. A voice out of nowhere said that he was going to fight this crazy woman, the same voice called her an incredibly terrible opponent. Black Widow mistakenly thought that Scorpio was addressing her this way, but in fact it was someone else. Most likely it was the same guy, but the woman thought that a member of her clan was deliberately trying to anger her. The monster was furious at such tricks, he turned in the other direction and tried to look for the guy with his eyes, now he was about to tear him to shreds. After that, he heard similar phrases from another part of the forest, at which point he was finally convinced that their uninvited guest was behind this. The next moment, the monster realized that it was a trap that he had foolishly fallen into, Ling Xiao would be behind him right now. Due to the grass and miasma, it was impossible to see properly around, so the rest of the clan members lost sight of Scorpio. They realized that this guy had surpassed them, and because of their own carelessness, they were at a disadvantage. The black snake invites them to unite, because he wants to defeat them one by one, and as long as they are together, they will have an advantage. Meanwhile, the hero had already dealt with two enemies, Scorpio lost when the battle had not yet begun, he was so self-confident that he did not even use disguise. His enemies could blame their location, forests and mountains, but he would definitely kill them all, and no one would even notice, and no one would look for their bodies. And to find medicine, one cult member would be enough, the rest could be easily removed. The hero throws distracting projectiles at the remaining opponents, 
they were still disoriented and could not yet come up with any plan of action. The villains tried to understand where these things came from, in an attempt to prove their superiority, they shouted that they should not be afraid of the guy, let him not pretend to be a ghost. A few seconds later, the enemies again hear a familiar voice, the guy was teasing them, his goal was to get them emotional and provoke them to do stupid things. The voice also announces that the game is starting right now, and whoever can kill the other two clan members and survive will be pardoned. But the black snake didn't even finish drying it, it was so angry that it was disgusting that it immediately went to Ling Xiao to wipe him off the face of the earth. The old woman was blinded by rage, she mindlessly attacked everything around her and screamed for the hero to give her his life now. He, in turn, took advantage of the moment and attacked from above, thanks to his speed and stealth he had a strong advantage. A minute later, a huge steel pipe was stuck into the back of the black snake, I wonder what it was like to die from your own weapon. Once she made him feel incredible pain and suffering, all this time he was waiting for the moment when he would be able to repay her in kind. The two remaining rivals did not have time to help their ally, they were not fast enough for this. How dare this student touch his boss, the man was going to teach the brat a lesson and send him straight to hell. The black widow was determined to fight, at that moment she wanted more than anything to force her enemy to return the lives of his fallen comrades. The remaining clan members finally joined forces and attacked simultaneously, Ling Xiao had to act very quickly, because despite the advantage, he was still vulnerable. Their blows were very strong, followed by bright explosions, but did they manage to injure such a dexterous fighter as this guy? Only after the smoke from their attacks had cleared did they realize that their actions had killed their own boss, while their enemy remained unharmed. At first, the hero didn't even believe his eyes, because this was not part of his plans, he did not expect that the old woman would die at the hands of her own colleagues, it was very ironic. The guy felt superior, confidence and a slight grin were visible on his face, at one point he stopped and asked what they were going to do next. This situation completely drove the centipede crazy, he swore to himself that he would finish him off right now, this forced him to use his most powerful tool. The man promised Ling Xiao that these lands would forever become his grave, after which he concentrated all his energy and put it into the final blow. Unfortunately for him, his device was too clumsy and it was not difficult for the hero to close the distance with him. It was a bad move, now the centipede's life was in his hands, it was his turn to say goodbye to his life. The guy decided not to waste time and finish everything with one blow, as a result of which there was a strong explosion, after which the man had no chance of surviving. After what she saw, the black widow completely broke down, she no longer had the desire to fight with anyone, she only said that she was not to blame for anything. Unexpectedly for her, Ling Xiao grabbed her and carried her away from the detonating weapon of her fallen ally. The explosion was so strong that even Xiao Er heard it, although she was quite far from the battle site. The guy took the last surviving cult member to a safe distance, he saved her because he had plans related to her. The Black Widow herself was shocked that by some miracle she managed to survive this fight, inside herself she had already accepted her own death. Having come to her senses a little, the woman asked why Ling Xiao saved her, after all, she was one of his worst enemies. The hero did not answer her, because of this, the widow thought that perhaps he fell for her beauty and liked her, if this was so, then she would never have to hunt again. But in fact, the woman should have thought less about all this nonsense, the guy needed her for one very important matter. Ling Xiao wanted to be taken to the heart of their sacred lands, the treasury of the five poisons, he strongly recommends that she agree. If she does everything right, she will be rewarded with a painless death, but otherwise she will greatly regret it. After half an hour of walking, they were almost in the right place, they had to hurry because the sooner they found the right ingredients, the faster they could leave here. The girl asked her classmate if they could trust this woman, after all, that green man tried to deceive them. But the guy assured her that this time everything would be calm, she would never do anything stupid, because she knew about the consequences. There weren't many medicinal herbs outside, but there was a place that was full of them, the herbs growing there were much stronger and more refined, they could work wonders. That is why they needed to get to the core of the sacred lands, Xiao Er understood everything, but it was clear from her face that she was alarmed. The whole point was that the companion wanted to get a promise from her friend that the hero must be very careful, because she didn't want anything to happen to him. Ling Xiao promises her that he will be as attentive as possible, 
but now she had to hurry, because they were already almost there. It seemed to Xiao Er that he didn't look like he felt anything for her, although who would even look at her, she's big and ugly, that's exactly what the girl thought. They were finally here, there was a core of medical materials, the black widow had to go first to check the traps. She had to obey, in any case she had no other choice, it was still better than certain death. The woman returned a few minutes later and reported that there were no traps inside, but they had never been placed there. Ling Xiao's classmate was very embarrassed because he started touching her, it seemed to her that he was groping her. But the hero had nothing of the kind in his thoughts, in fact, something incomprehensible was happening to his girlfriend, she said strange things all the time. Most likely, she really liked the guy, but she still couldn't understand whether her feelings were mutual or whether it was all in vain. They entered a huge cave, there was a huge amount of medicinal herbs, but how exactly would they find what they needed? But there was no need to worry about this, because Ling Xiao had something with him that would allow him to take all the valuable herbs from this place. The Black Widow didn't really understand what he meant, because they had been collecting these herbs here for the past 10 years, he couldn't just take it all away. But the hero did not intend to change his plans, he put a special ring on his finger, which absorbed all the useful properties around it. This artifact was called a spiritual ring, the woman did not expect to see such a thing on an ordinary student, it was incredibly expensive. The Black Widow hoped that since she was one of the sect left, now all the wealth of this place would automatically become her property. The guy improved the ring before coming here, the space inside was only 10 cubic meters, there was not enough strength for more yet. Ling Xiao actually took almost everything that was in this secret place, the woman was shocked. But there was one more thing left, it was very important, because it was with its help that there was a chance to return Ling Xian's healthy legs. The Black Widow warned that to obtain this ingredient it was necessary to go to a place where ordinary people usually do not risk going. But the younger brother was determined, in the end they came to a large gate, behind it there was a means with which it was possible to heal bones and muscles, this substance was made from demonic blood. The room inside glowed bright red, this thing could transform an ordinary person into an outstanding martial artist, it was a real treasure. The girl asked what this thing was, why this thing looked like blood, was this really what the treasure looked like for which they had been coming here for so long? Inside this red substance one could see the corpses of worms, apparently this pool was made of their blood. In fact, this pool was not made of ordinary blood, in fact, all Xiao Er needed to know was that if an ordinary person sat there for half an hour, then he would become the most gifted martial artist. This bath was made using the blood of the Five Poisons King, and it is extremely rare, how could Ling Xiao know so much about it? If he is going to become stronger by bathing in it, then the Black Widow does not recommend doing this. The guy asked what was the reason for this, his girlfriend suggested that this pool was too poisonous. The woman said that this is indeed true, if a mortal body falls into this extremely toxic pool, it will simply dissolve. The Black Widow lied about the toxicity of the pool, in fact, she simply did not want to give these people a chance to take advantage of such a treasure. As a result, the guys found themselves in an insoluble situation. They thought that only this pool could heal the bones of their older brother, but at the same time they could die from it. Xiao Er was upset, she thought that she could improve her bones and muscles after swimming, the girl really wanted to become a martial artist. In her thoughts, the woman was happy, it seemed they had bought into her lies, now all that was left was to quickly get them out of here. But suddenly she was grabbed by a magical hand, the hero decided to test the words about the pool using a practical example. Ling Xiao doubted his enemy's words, so it was easier to check whether a person would really die after immersing himself in this substance. The woman continued to lie and begged the guy to stop, she tried with all her might to prove that after immersing herself in this pool, her body would dissolve. But the hero did not have time to listen to her chatter, it was much faster and easier to use her body to find out the truth. The pool was completely upgraded yesterday, so no one had used it yet, this blood has the ability to improve bones and muscles, and it is poisonous, but this was an unusual poison. In fact, it was a poison of liberation, when it enveloped a person's body, it allowed him to realize his deepest desires. In other words, a person who plunged into this pool could feel true pleasure inside his body. The girl noticed that there was something wrong with the woman, could this poison really act on people in this way? Ling Xiao noticed that she seemed to feel true pleasure, 
apparently this was indeed true. The golden aura around her was improving her body, she was definitely lying to us about the properties of this pool, this blood does not burn anyone. But as it turned out, the pool still acted rather strangely, the guy imagined it all a little differently. The golden glow around the black widow's body indicated that this substance was indeed working as expected. This red liquid inside the tank made the body of the person immersed inside feel a feeling of absolute satisfaction. Xiao Er was worth a try, since she couldn't practice martial arts, this might be her only chance to realize her dream. The girl asked her friend what about him, this pool could also help anyone who wants to connect their life with martial arts. The guy believes that this pool is not for him, he cannot use such things, because if the inhabitants of the Kingdom of the Immortals find out about this, his reputation will be destroyed. Moreover, divine resolution would improve on its own, so he did not need to use such things. The classmate understood everything, she still could not decide whether she should dive into this unusual substance. She asked herself if she wanted to become a real martial arts master, wasn't this idea the girl had been nurturing all her life. In the end, Xiao Er decides that this is what she really wants, and she will do whatever it takes to make her dream come true. The girl decides not to waste time and do it as quickly as possible, without even taking off her clothes she heads to the pool. Ling Xiao tells her that the effect will be much greater if she takes off her clothes completely. The friend asks if he really wants her to undress right now, right in front of him. The hero thought what he did wrong, because he just wanted to help, he didn't want to take the opportunity to spy on her. The guy takes the black widow and leaves, now his classmate could safely go to the pool, he promised that he would stand outside and protect her. He had helped her so many times, even going to a dangerous place to help remove the seal, she really wanted to thank him, but did not know how. Already standing near the gate, Ling Xiao says that if the girl screams too much, then he cannot guarantee that he will not hear anything. Such a depraved thought made her very angry, but in fact the guy just told her the honest truth. Xiao Er was very inspired, but with her words she ruined everything and made her feel uncomfortable. She had to hold back her screams no matter what, even if it took all her strength. The pool was not hot, although it seemed so at first glance, in fact the water was very warm and pleasant. The guy stood outside and hoped to quickly finish it completely and return home to his older brother. But suddenly a woman's scream was heard from the room with the pool, Xiao Er, for some reason, began to scream and ask for help. The hero immediately rushed to her aid, was it really the witch who lied to them and the liquid in the pool was poisonous? Entering the room, Ling Xiao saw his girlfriend sitting in the pool and waving her arms, making it seem like she was drowning. Was there really something wrong with this blood, he would never be able to forgive himself if his classmate got hurt here now. Entering the pool, the guy was surprised, because it was very shallow, the liquid was just up to his waist, how could she drown there? The hero grabbed her hand, and the girl immediately rushed at him with a hug, as it turned out she was in no danger. Right now she was in his arms and completely naked, he was still young after all, this feeling was really exciting. Xiao Er tried to explain something several times, but every time her words were cut off mid-sentence. As it turned out, the reason for her hysteria was that she slipped and thought that something terrible had happened, it really scared her. Ling Xiao understood that the situation they were in now was not entirely ordinary, he could not find anything better than to say that his girlfriend was very sweet. Only after this the girl comes to her senses a little and remembers that she has no clothes on at all, she asks the guy to leave, but in the end asks if he really thinks she's beautiful. But the guy simply says that she should no longer scream over such trifles, because he was very scared for her. Xiao Er continued to stand in this unusual pool, a strange feeling ran through her body, this was the first time this had happened to her. This feeling was very pleasant, she felt like something was happening to her body, the girl tried to understand what happened to her. At this time, the black widow came to her senses a little, the hero asked her what she felt when she found herself in the red water. She told him that it would be best if he tried to experience it himself. This answer was quite enough for the guy, the woman had not yet fully come to her senses and began to talk some nonsense. After this, he notices that the sound behind the door has disappeared, and this could mean that his classmate either fell into someone or collected all the energy of the pool. Ling Xiao went inside because he thought that some ridiculous situation had happened to her again, and perhaps she already needed to be saved from something. But in fact everything was fine, 
it was not like his girlfriend and he was a little surprised. She was just getting dressed after swimming in the pool, the guy's gaze definitely embarrassed her a lot, Shaoer asks why the guy came to her without knocking. After this, the girl asks him to leave here, first she needed to finish dressing. Ling Xiao was surprised why his girlfriend suddenly became so shy, because just a couple of minutes ago she was hugging him completely naked. He came close to her and began to carefully examine her, which made her classmate even more embarrassed. As it turned out, the hero was looking at the place where recently there was a seal of a frosty spider, but now there is no trace of it left. Xiao Er asked if he really looked at her so carefully only because of this seal, the guy replied that this was indeed the case. The girl did not expect this, she needed to stop thinking about all sorts of vulgar things, her friend was stupid, because she stood naked in front of him, and he didn't even pay attention. Suddenly Ling Xiao put his hand on her stomach, she got scared and asked what he was doing, why did he suddenly want to touch her? After this, the hero lifts her up with the help of his special technique, and the classmate thought that her friend is very two-faced, because at first he rejects her, and now he does this. The guy asked her not to move forward, he needed to look at the veins and bones, he needed to understand whether this bath was giving any result. It was the first time since his rebirth that he tried to feel the fathers of another person, at this level of cultivation it was quite difficult. But fortunately, Xiao Er's body was much easier to feel for some reason. At that time, the girl was trying with all her appearance to hide the fact that she really liked being stroked on her stomach like that. As a result, it was possible to find out that her bones had improved, and the seal would never bother her again, this pool was simply incredible. Now she could freely practice any martial arts. But, unfortunately, the pool itself was now absolutely useless, the girl's body had collected all its power. The color of the pool changed to blue, her body was now very strong, and now any techniques were available to her. If she didn't believe Ling Xiao, she could just try hitting one of the walls of this room. The friend has really been waiting for this day for a very long time, finally she will be able to become strong and she will have the strength to protect the people dear to her. 